me to the ground now And somehow I feel like you don't know me Shook me to the ground now I don't even know how Brought me to a life that you never showed me Alright, 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 good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome. My name is Resorty, and to you, one and all, I say, hello friends, welcome, welcome, how's it going? Hope you're having a good day wherever you are in the world. It's a pleasure to be here with you yet again on this a Friday morning Japan time. The weekend is here for me once more, hopefully it's there for you fairly soon. Maybe, maybe a little little later than me, but I'll get there first and have a good time, and then you can join me later, soon enough. How's it going today, y'all? It's good seeing you, Cyber Oracle. Welcome, Chimp. Welcome, Sakutera. Sage, welcome back. Sage, I know that you were someone who found us during Total War. I often assume that when we leave a game like Total War, no one will follow, but there you are, Sage. Thanks for coming back again. And Cyber Oracle, thank you for uh, recognizing, I suppose, a person joining our community with three months of gift subs. Thank you, thank you, thank you for each of those, Cyber Oracle. Hopefully, Sage decides it's a nice place to hang out, because gosh, I think it is, and I hope that, uh, yeah, I hope we all agree with that one, too. Hello, Steve. Hello, Rainer. How's it going today? Silence. Load fix. Load fix, thank you for the raid right as we got started. What were you playing today, Load fix? Are you also fully on board with backpack battling, or you got something else going on these days? Uh, hello to you, Quick Ben. How's it going, Cyber Oracle? Again, that's you twice. I apologize. <laughs> hello, El Sedil. Micro Soup. Hello, Micro Soup. Hello to you, Slivers. Hello to you, everyone. I hope today is going very, very well for you. And uh, I'm excited for more backpack battling. We cannot play this game forever. I think today is our last day of playing it, at least for a little while. Because uh, I have an offer for a sponsored stream on my Monday, uh, a game called New Cycle, which I believe I've not played yet, but I've heard good things about. So I think we'll be playing some New Cycle pretty, pretty, pretty soon, in a couple days here. Um, other than that, what do we have? Other than that, what do we have? <sighs> I know that many of you come here to see the life and times of an upstanding... Uh, interesting person with stories and a, a model of good behavior. Someone who you can look up to and say, ah, I'm glad Resorty's in the world. Friends, today I have nothing for you but degeneracy. Pure, pure degeneracy. <laughs> there, there are no stories. There's only the, the uh, sad, sad adventures of a man who wanted to get as much possible backpack battling in as he could. So yesterday, I did not teach, and so after stream, I said to myself, well, after stream, we have a lunch. And so I came on down, and, and, and I went upstairs and got my lunch, and I said, oh, I could play a couple rounds of backpack battling while eating my lunch, and I did, and that was fine. And then what comes after lunch? After lunch, we have a little bit of, of grading to do. All right, a large portion of backpack battling is auto-battling. So if I'm just actively playing while making my backpack work, then during the battling, I can go grade over here. As I proceed to just stare at the screen, ignoring my grading. <laughs> I did go and see a colleague yesterday afternoon. I saw a colleague yesterday afternoon. Uh, I managed to have a full conversation with another human without mentioning backpacks once. So that's a real accomplishment. But I got back home again. I got back home again and said, okay, okay, okay. I gotta fold some laundry. I gotta fold some laundry. So again, we're folding laundry while auto battling. <laughs> In a way more than normal, the computer became the focus of my life. And that was probably not ideal because my productivity went way, way down and everything else. Have I showered? Yeah, I'm actually late today because after Noms left for work this morning at, at 8 a.m. or at 7.30, I said, hmm. I usually shower at 8. That means I have time for one game of backpack battling. And I did. And I did. And then it was 7.55. And I said, well, five minutes till shower time. I've got time for one more round of backpack battling. <laughs> and, and then it was 8.28. And I typed in chat here, I'm going to be late because I'm currently backpack battling. <laughs> so... I apologize. I'm here. Don't you worry. I'm showered. I'm clean. I will teach today. I, I can stop anytime I want to. Don't you worry. 
<laughs> What's up, Volo? It's good seeing you. Hello, cat. Hello, everybody. Yeah, it's a, it's a silly time. We're having a silly time here in, in Resortyville, but it's... It's enough time for right now. It's enough time to have played Back of Battles for a week. It's a fun game. Uh, I'm getting to the point of the... Um, uh, I'm getting to the point of uh, the game's ranks where I'm beginning to have some troubles. Uh, people who I'm playing against understand the game a little bit more than I do, uh, especially the build order on things. So we will we will probably not be winning every round uh, today, but we're going to have a fun time with it. I'm looking forward to more of that, and... That's okay. I feel that if I kept trying this game and kept learning, I could probably climb pretty high in the ranks. Because uh, it's a game that really appeals to certain portions of me. And uh, those are portions I probably should not <laughs> should not celebrate. They're what you might call the addictive portions of Resorty. And I don't know why this game in particular does it. Um, I'm thinking of writing a Steam review on just that topic. Like, I, I have a lot of games I enjoy playing, but very few where I want to spend my entire life in, in pure connection with the computer. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. What even is Backpack Battles? It is pure transcendence. It is, it is a game, it's a roguelike game in which you... Uh, auto battle, so you create a character who can do certain things, and those certain things uh, often fuel an engine that caught There are a lot of metaphors here, <laughs> but you'll see in just a moment what it is. It's a fun game, though, I think is the long and short of it. It's a recently released game that is really, really quite fun, for sure, for sure. Uh, I'm going to do some homework while watching Dolphin Chemist. Man, back when I lived on my own, I would often finish off the night watching Dolphin Chemist, doing some grading and watching DC until sleepy time. Uh, but but now, now I live with someone, and I think she would not enjoy hearing his dulcet tones while falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, probably not, probably not. But yeah, yeah, I mean, a lot of my grad school period, or my post-grad school period was spent with DC, and now I know there are many of you who hang out with me uh, while you're doing other stuff in your house, and uh, while you're working, maybe, or sleeping, or whatever else. Just glad you're here, regardless. Or honestly, that is all the stories I have. That's my day in general. Uh, as I said, we might have a uh, sponsored stream of New Cycle on my Monday. Uh, tomorrow, we're definitely playing 60 Seconds or 60 Parsecs, uh, those delightful live-in-a-bunker adventure game we started playing last week. I do want to... I do want to play some more of that. It's not actually enough to pull me away from from backpack battling, uh, except for I said last week we would do more of it on Saturday, and I want to keep my words. So we'll try to do that. What that means, friends, it's time to push this button, bring up this game, and play some more backpack battling. And I already know what uh, kind of play I want to do first. First, of course, I'll show you my, there we are, I will show you my, uh, my characters. So I've not played the ranger at all overnight. Uh, she is still three points into gold. We then have the reaper. I can't find a way to make Reaper play fun. I, I've been struggling immensely with making it fun. I've done, I don't know, like two rounds offline. We can keep grinding her out, but I just don't enjoy how she plays. Uh, and I might be missing something about it, but it seems to me the way you play her is have a lot of poison shooting and a lot of armor and then just wait <laughs> and hope that your poison builds up fast enough before the enemy gets through your armor and you die. I think that is the entirety of that story and that's all I got. I've not enjoyed it at all though. Uh, Little Berserker at 12 in gold and then lastly Pyromancer at 33 in gold. So I got two more characters at a gold level uh, while I was gone, um, but I'd like to try to get at least one of them to platinum level next, I guess. Uh, maybe, maybe. We do have 199 trophies right now, so we can unlock one more item. We've unlocked one item for the Ranger, um, two items for the Reaper, uh, one item for the Berserker, and one item for the Pyromancer. I want to start Berserker today, so we'll open one item for the Berserker. Uh, they got the more better weapon there. Hello, Diggle, how's it going? So we get a fancy hat, uh, namely yellow hair into gray hair, we get fancy clothes, namely leather, fallout, uh, sands of, of disaster, Mad Max clothing. Uh, a little different backpack, namely uh, studded, or the boots become uh, combat boots. Let's do combat boots, that's like a fun time. And then after this next round, uh, we'll have one more win, and so we'll be able to have one more unlock on somebody. All right, um, I'm trying very hard to go into uh, games without saying, I want to do this kind of build. 
I'm trying to stay open and curious about what we might find, what items are available to build the best we can. Now, with that said, it'd be really, really fun to have a giant weapon. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, if we get a lot of uh, if we get a lot of uh, craftable items, we'll probably go in the direction of giant um, hammer or giant axe on blacksmith anvil. If we do not get those, we'll probably go with giant sword on stunning thing. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. What do we get first? Uh, early game. Cheap healing. Very good. Let's reroll. Uh, we don't need the banana yet. We're not using any uh, stamina at all. We will go ahead and grab a second weapon, though. And I do want the banana later, but not moments. I'll take the tusk also, simply because that will give a little bit of... Uh, I don't want to say thorns. Spikes against the enemy. So they damage themselves while we're damaging them also. That's what we got for now. Uh, I think we're probably going to lose round one. But I'm ready to be surprised. So the one reason to take the um, banana would have been its occasional heal. It probably healed two or three times. Oh boy. Got very close. They had four HP left. That's fine though. All right, we have two bananas. I will grab one of them now. Um, if you put it like this, it goes inside of our magic bag, which um, during our battle rage at half life, we have them trigger even faster. And that's a lovely, lovely thing. Uh, I don't know if I actually want the upgraded sword, but we'll grab the whetstone anyway to make that work and to give both of them uh, plus one damage. With only four money, I'm not sure there's anything I could find that I'd want, so I'm just gonna start the battle. Uh, a skill I'm trying to gain from yesterday's playthrough is not re-rolling too much. Uh, saving our money for more buying in the future. Resorty v. Miggy swing. Resorty wins! Excellent. That person had that fine spear, which does so much damage, but costs so much stamina also. Um, let's buy a backpack. Sure, why not? <sighs> I said this could be a delightful hammer run. They give me the hammer into round three. Let's do delightful hammer run. Our entire goal in life now is just stunning people all the time. If we stun people, we are happy. If we do not stun people, we are sad. And that is the entire story. Okay, I don't think it's a way for me to get the hammer, the banana and the forging hammer all in here at once. Unless I move that over to there. Okay. Uh, this means that the forging hammer is not getting the bonus from the whetstone, but that's all right. So we're at high stamina usage. We're generating one and consuming 1.5. Uh, the baby hammer consumes no stamina. It's just the big boy hammer. So if we could find a way to increase our stamina gain, that'd be great. Um, but what we have here is not going to do it. So we will stamina out in this uh, this battle, but we'll see if hopefully, hopefully um, they get stunned regularly. So every swing is a possibility of stun at a 50% chance right now. We want to find items that increase the chance of stun. There's a... Um, what's it called? There's a... What's the item? There's some item that increases the chance of uh, effects. I mean, definitely the little pig does. We can't get the little pig on this uh, character. Okay, okay, okay. So we did not run out of stamina that time, thank goodness. We got enough stuns to win the day anyway. Um, I think, I think, I think we'll grab another backpack. Roll. Sure. Eventually we'll consume more stamina, because we do want to have our hammer inside of a... Um, inside of a speed-up bag, one of those fanny packs, and it'll swing more often and therefore consume additional stamina. I'd like to find also a, yeah, a gem bag, I believe. Go ahead and use one of these to speed up the speed of our banana. It also gives some shielding as well. That's it for now. Hey, Mark, how's it going? Good seeing you. This person has weapons. This person's gonna run out of uh, stamina, I guarantee it. Unless they get stunned enough. All right, they're already in battle rage. We battle rage now. Should be a win. Should be a win. Hey, hey, should be a win. Oh, whew. That was pretty close. Pretty close. Oh, good call. The piggy can burst open with the hammer. Totally not that awesome person. Totally forgot. Thank you. If we buy the piggy, you get more money next round. Then you break it open. I should always buy those. Thank you for remembering that. 
and reminded me of the same. Okay, uh, this is a little early to get a spike collar. It makes our battle rage last longer. So happy to have that. And if we want to start getting crafted items, these boots would be useful. So I'm going to save them into next round, I think. They're not on sale, though. Let's just keep what we have here. As I said yesterday, this game is definitely not one with quite so much uh, to talk about. There's not a lot of things happening to like, remind me of old stories. Like, that one time I hit someone with a frying pan, and then I shook my hammer at them, and they were stunned. This doesn't happen to me. Um, so I appreciate you hanging out, despite being a slightly different kind of stream than otherwise. Uh, there's our battle rage. We're not sort of attacking very fast. And we get the win. Good. We are um, struggling with health and struggling with stamina both uh, towards the end there, so we need some way of getting a little bit of both more of them. We can't add more weapons right now because of the stamina problems. Hey, it's the gem box. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. At this point, we'll begin getting gems regularly, um, hopefully increasing the speed of the hammer and maybe some lifesteal also. We'll see. Now, the one thing about the hammer is it doesn't level up, I believe. There is no hammer plus anything uh, creation, and so I'm curious why I think it's a good late game weapon. <laughs> I'm not sure it actually is. We might want to pivot out of it to something else later. For now, though, it's fun. And this gem is kind of expensive. It does allow us to do more damage on a giant hammer, though, uh, when the enemy's low health. So let's go ahead and try that. And that's a round. Ooh, the hammer one up, the other hammer going straight then. Oh, can it? Why didn't I move the hammer one up? That's a great question. Oh, because I want the banana in here. Oh, see, if it goes up one, though, this can go up one also, the west oak come up. That's a good improvement. Thank you for that. What is not good, however, is what just happened there. And they got a bunch of spikes on them via the pineapple. And so the pineapple gave spikes, and I harmed myself on the spikes, and that was the end of that round. Oh, yeah, good call. If you go up like so, and then, like, second, like that, that'll do it. Actually, it would work fine here now also. It all works the same. And actually, the garlic can go in the middle then and give a bonus to both of the bananas. Improvement. All right, so I know I've got the shield. I can... Remove other people's stamina. I've never actually made one of these advanced shields. So the moon shield, items give more armor. For 12 armor they gain, gain mana. We gotta find a way of spending the mana then. The moon shield, um, every time attack, prevent damage, and deal 0.7 stamina damage to your opponent. All right, I think I prefer the sun shield. I think that would be delightful. So, I don't know how to make it. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously the shield plus something hot. Anybody know how to make the sun shield? Is it a fire item? And do I have access to any fire items <laughs> as this character? <laughs> um, we just need to find some way of spending mana if we go for this. What's the, the mana sword story? It's the, the vampire sword plus a mana ball, I believe. Sun shield is a fire item, so I can't use it. Got it. So I know I can make Mana Thirst. So when you have 20 mana, steal 10 life, increased by one for each vampirism. Oh, you can get fire with Anvil. You're absolutely right about that. Absolutely right. Now we have no crafted items yet except for our gemstones. So I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure of going the Anvil's right way to go. Whichever way. I do want to buy this, and this will be the, the part to make it a moon shield right away. And we need some way to spend mana. So I'll be trusting that we can get a mana orb and one of the vampire swords, the sort of hunger I think it's called. That's a lot of maybe, maybe, maybes. I'm going to buy the shield. Um, easier way I can fit it into this thing. by giving up a bunch of stuff. So we'll have stamina problems with this setup, but the enemy will also have stamina problems. So maybe that's okay. We put our spike back here for now. 
Sure, let's see if they're on stamina first. Uh, they're definitely on stamina problems. Come on, banana, just keep pumping. Uh, next swing, we have stamina problems. Oh, not quite, not quite. Rush is still good. We're both stunning each other back and forth. We won that with no stamina problems, actually. I'm a little surprised by that, but a win is a win. Four more possible losses. We're heading along. All right, so like I said, we don't have any crafted items right now except for the jewels. Um, we had an opportunity to get one. We could get another here. Now, when an item is crafted, and that includes the gems, we can get flames. And then we can turn this into a sun item. And that saps the stamina of our enemies. We'll need more ways to get armor, probably, because we have currently nothing that produces armor at all. None of them are on sale right now. The fighter, every time this weapon hits, it has a chance of stunning, and other items gain accuracy and crit. I think the fighter is better right now, given what we have. And we hope we have a different weapon to replace the hammer before too long. I think that's right. But then we need to move the hammer over here in order to ensure that both weapons get the bonus on accuracy and crit. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Hey, it's speed. Hey, it's speed. Hey, it's speed. Okay. How do we reorient all this? We get the speed bag involved. We'll figure that out in a moment. What else we got? Oh, gloves. I just rolled away gloves. <laughs> Even if we're not going for a um, uh, a blacksmith build, the gloves would be very useful for speeding up the hammer some more. Well, mistakes have been made. We'll see how this goes. I'm going to take everything apart and see what we can do now. Uh, there we go. Okay, so what I know needs to be where is what. I know we need to have the brass knuckles in the middle like that, roughly. I know I'd like both my weapons to go through here. Okay, we could do this, and then bring the whetstone back again, and return to our hammer. Cap. If we do that, the banana is not inside of the bag. If that's not inside the bag, that's not great for stamina production. So move that up, and do one of these to get the banana in the bag. This could also move up one if we wanted it to. I need additional space for that shield. The shield doesn't need to touch anything right now, except insofar as it gives armor, and nothing gives armor currently. Okay, it'd be really neat. That's right, neat. If I could have a hammer and a banana both in this bag, and that is doable. Once that is doable, He's done it slightly differently, I believe. You're putting one here and one here. Uh, this is probably not ideally laid out. We'll have to check in a moment. Uh. Okay. And then we'd like to put garlic next to that to help the banana speed up more. We have this spot for gems, faster battle rage. That's created. That is created. Uh, we don't have our healing item in there anymore, but I think I'm okay losing it. Uh, also, friends, the first ad break is coming. I'm just going to play through this first ad break, and then we'll go to crossword on the second one. Don't you worry. Um, all right. This gem here, chance of moving buffs, lowers opponent's healing, or cleanse debuffs. One of the lower opponent's healing, for sure. Now, if I get that pig in there to break it apart, we get some money back. So I'm going to trust you can do that eventually. And we'll save our money now. All right, let's see how our new, well-crafted backpack is working out. 
Someone's making an ultra sword goobert. Goobreath sword's not for you. Uh, they battle raid before we did. We got some very good stuns. Fantastic. Okay, the question now is, do we want to try to move to the big axes instead? Um, the hammer's been really nice. Uh, the hammer is great when we get the stuns. The issue, of course, is if we miss, it's not great anymore. <laughs> so, uh, so for the moment, the single axe does less damage, and I can't possibly use both of them. So, we'll be buying the axe with the mind that we might find a second one later, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. So, I will save it for now, and we'll look next round. Is that right? No, I'll take it now. And then next time we'll have another reroll spot. Okay. We can put these together. They will become the upgraded flawed amethyst. We're nowhere near a second regular amethyst, but soon. See, honestly, the ad break is running right now. And I, I know that I'm supposed to do crossword and ad breaks so and no one misses anything. But right now I just don't want to do anything but play backpack battles. <laughs> it's, it's embarrassing and terrible. I know. I, I, I definitely violated the social contract of this stream. I know it's terrible. I, I don't want to say I'm embarrassed exactly, but I might be embarrassed. <laughs> Game too good. Game too good indeed. All right. So we do have one other blue item to throw there. That gains two more armor on mana we have. I was talking about mana generation earlier. We don't have it currently, so this is actually going to do nothing in that slot. If I put it... Where can I go instead? I have no open space. It sits there. I remain helpless in the uh, hope my, uh, face of my addictions. There might be some addictions here. I don't know. Ha 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 fun. All right, we we're against someone who believes in getting us a whole bunch of poison, which means stunning is less effective uh, because the poison will still do damage while we've stunned her. We just need to do a tremendous amount of damage in the next few seconds here. It's not enough. We're to die. Yeah, that's... See, like I said, this is the kind of... Well, I meant to close that and talk about it, but... Slight like mistake there. My apologies. Not able to do so. Anyway, we survived another round at least. We got three tries left on six wins. Six wins look pretty good. Uh, we've got our basic yellow item and a bunch of coins. We bought the piggy for two or three. We sell them for five. That is a nice bit of profit there. The green emeralds give us additional healing at this point. I will go ahead and grab that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll roll into what we get. A second gem bag we'd not be remiss to have. If we want to go hard into gems, this is the way to go hard into gems. Open slot here. So... The Chip Sapphire, or any Sapphire, is so, so good uh, because it allows you to attack through armor, potentially. Uh, was that a Wolpertinger? Indeed it was. Angelius, indeed it was. It's a godly level... A godly level pet that gives you three points of whatever your smallest buff is. So if you can get one point in mana, it will help you spin up mana very, very quickly. I've never actually used it as any part of a build. I bought one randomly for fun one time, but... Okay, we discussed this sword. If I want to go the direction of mana and such, this sword could be a good one. In the short run, I don't really have anything that produces regen. And without regen, this thing does not function terribly well, and it's not on sale. So leave it as it is. Friends, the ads are over. You're back. Welcome back. Surely you weren't abandoned on the side of the road by someone who might want to play more video games. <laughs> Surely that didn't happen. All right. Wow. Lucky us. So not only do we find a second uh, ruby, it's on sale also. So those can go together like so. And they'll then become a better ruby for even better lifesteal on that weapon. Cool. Um, we have a second axe. We have the second axe there. Also more battle rage, more good. <sighs> yeah, I think we move to axes next. I think we say goodbye to the stuns and try to overpower with damage. Yeah. Good to be back. Hey, good to have you back. My apologies for throwing you to an ad break. This person has a lot of weapons. This person doesn't have enough stamina. 
brother's weapons. Yeah. It's pretty close. It was pretty close. If we didn't have the battle rage reduction to uh, to damage taken, we've definitely lost there. And they have the uh, the crossed blade, which I've I've made once and immediately lost with. This is a very hard item to make. Um, and I made it one time and lost every single match afterwards. <laughs> so <laughs> I know in principle how it's supposed to work, but it did not work for me for a variety of reasons I don't want to go back to. All right. Better lifesteal weapon now there. So it's time for the very awkward round. This round we'll almost certainly lose in order to make the two axes work together. They just take up a lot of space to get made. Um... Okay, move everything down. You don't remember to YouTube to watch stream ring ad breaks? Hello, YouTube viewers! <laughs> Today I forgot to put on the message that says, I don't read chat on YouTube. Please come to Twitch. But hey, I don't read chat on YouTube. Please come to Twitch. <laughs> All right, so we're going to burn out of stamina during this next round, unless I can get the banana back in, which we can definitely do. It's not what we want it to be exactly, but it might work out. Uh, we do have two of these baby blues. Connect those up to become bigger blues. Or we can put on the weapons. I probably have all these slots right now. Uh, we can lifesteal again. So there will still be some stunning happening with the axe. It's actually just the brass knuckles. 30% chance of stunning regularly. We want to find anything that helps us do that more often. Uh, there's a hunter item that does that. Actually, there are two hunter items that do that. But I don't know what... Not hunter, sorry. Ranger items. I don't know if the projector have anything with the helps of that. I uh, will buy this little yellow to combine those also. Dagger is free damage. Um, what would I give up for that, though? I don't think the dagger is part of our play long term, so I'm not going to buy it even on sale. Hopefully, fine. We like though another jewel box. Okay, mm -hmm. I don't know what point jewel boxes become excessive. Like each every one gives us a new uh, gem every single round, and that's really, really nice. Really, really nice. It's just a matter of I take up so much space, <laughs> so <laughs> I don't quite know. I don't quite know. Um, Goobert can upgrade into a Cheesebert if we have cheese, and only the Berserk can get cheese. So I'm kind of thinking of doing that at some point. If it were on sale, I'd get it now. Okay. Another box of riches? <laughs> we can actually afford it, which is just ridiculous. All right, I've decided that four is enough. I cannot buy any more of those ever, 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 ever. Is there a way to move things around where I can have the whetstone doing something, anything. Not while maintaining everything I care about, so it gets sold. All right. Back to it. Let's go, let's go. Hello, water boy. You've been watching Tokyo Vice. Have I met any Yakuza yet? Not that I know. Yeah, not that I know. Uh, but it is the case that uh, they don't always come in and say, Hello, I'm the Yakuza. They have a resurrection. We're probably gonna lose this, unless we get very lucky. Oh, we got some crits! Oh, we got some crits! We got very lucky to do the crits. <laughs> yeah, this is a build I really enjoy playing. The one that she's playing. Um, just build up as much mana and fire as you possibly can, and sit back and watch them burn. It's great. Okay. So we're at eight wins, three tries. We may end up getting our Absolutely wonderful um, additional points. Points are so nice. Okay. So big axe. I'd like you to be here, ideally. So I can have a banana or something fit in the other side there. And the mana can make a mana shield. I might go for that. Oh no, is it time to reorganize everything again? <laughs> I really don't want to. Alright, let's see what we can do here. So, get rid of these for now. Okay. 
Okay, that is is sort of where I want to be. Now, I'd like to have banana go like this. If two X are good, three are even better. I'm not sure, man. I'm not sure. <laughs> I mean, can't be worse than having four. Okay, so this can go genuinely anywhere. We'd prefer to have the garlic here. Let me move this like so. Oh, we've now saved an entire box. Which means the garlic can now go here. But I sure would like to get this mana orb on this side. I know I'll be using it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So we will have a moon shield next round. Um... Okay, let's start piling. The two bands with one weapon, so not guaranteed. It depends on how long the fight goes. So our stamina usage is currently 1.2 on varying one per second. We can increase our stamina production by using a yellow gem just sitting out by itself. It increases stamina production by 15%. Um, I don't know how to do math though. I have no calculator here. And so, eventually, because we're overspending on the axe, it will run out of stamina. The bananas help to avoid that. Now, I don't know if I need both of them. At least one banana is absolutely needed, though. You'll have to go ask someone who knows how math works to uh, help you understand that one, unfortunately. Uh, this is the uh, gem with a chance of going through armor. This is our lifesteal. This is our resist. Is that right? Yeah, this is our resist poison. These two combine. I think at this point I should have a good idea to be able to say like, oh, the kind of gem I really want is blue especially uh, for getting through armor. Um, and so maybe I shouldn't buy every gem I see. <laughs> Though they're all kind of nice, but probably specializing on gems is a good call. And so, because attacking faster is preferable over that one, I'm going to go with the yellow one there, which helps with stamina also. Right, nine money left. Upgraded blue would immediately combine. It's also on sale. How cool is that? So, put those together. So that's my do additional damage when under a certain amount of health. I'd like to keep that. We'll leave it like that for now. Another reroll. The Golden Crown uh, has a chance of invulnerability if you get mana going. Under what conditions does the moon shield produce mana? So if I have items that give armor, then we gain some mana one time, though. Unless I have an item that consistently gives armor. The armor creating items I know best are um, just the, the flat armors. And the armors give... The armors give armor. Armors give block at battle rage time. Or at start of mission. So either way, the invulnerability will either come in battle rage, which is not too bad, or at the beginning of the fight, which is not necessary. The perfect sapphire, though, which means there's a guaranteed chance of ignoring armor. Hello. <laughs> I say I want better blues. I find better blues. Good, good. Good, good. Um, I don't know how this works. Once you're at 100% chance, do you just ignore any other blues? Or does it make sense to stack past 100%? Is there a resistance to that possibly? I have no idea. It does gain mana also. And then we still, like, what is using mana spend? I think nothing. We have to find a mana spending item. It 100% just ignores uh, armor, so we don't need these blues anymore, is what I'm hearing. And they put my hammer to ignore armor on that also, I suppose. <laughs> uh, what else can this thing do? Um, gain armor on, on mana gain. And we'll get mana off of this gem, so that would potentially work. Okay. 
rolling more for luck. Hey, hey, lucky. I think we just dumped this into the axe also. And this is why we're about stamina. Because every time the axe goes faster, potentially the worse off it is for all the rest of us. Uh, we have one open speed spot. I'd like to move that down to here. Help this banana go faster. But if I do that, I don't put a way for me to get the shield back in. If you don't armor, you know the armor with axe, I mean the hammer's chipping at armor with no effect. Um, yeah. Uh, the thing to say, though, is the hammer's completely free. It does not cost stamina. Um, eventually, we can get rid of it if we don't want it. Um, but for right now, it's another slot for additional um, combining of gems. I move this shield where the treasure boxes are. That's a good eye. Thank you. That's a very good eye. Totally missed that part. You're gonna go back in. How do you see? How do you even see that? It's ridiculous to me that anyone can look at this and say, "Oh, here's what you move," <laughs> without taking it all apart. Now we do lose the battle rage on the banana, but this will be more consistent stamina growth until bat. Well, hmm. I started saying words, and realized the words are probably not true. We really need stamina during battle rage. I think this is stable as it is. Let's find out. Hello, hammer and dagger guy. This is who I wanted to be initially. It was a little hammer and dagger guy. Instead, now I'm axe guy. Let's see how that works. Yeah. It is good to be axe guy. Good old axe guy indeed. <sighs> nice. Round 17, probably the gym boxes. Only round 13, actually. Yeah, only round 13. We still have quite a few more to go, but uh, good thought. If it were round 17, selling the boxes would be the correct call, for sure. I give you the most beautiful item of all time. The Battle Rage Honor Banana, indeed. The banana has the greatest Battle Rage possibilities ever. We hold them their head, hands get very angry and make banana squash. Uh, so this gem is no longer is no longer doing anything in this position other than more mana gain. If I put it here instead, as mana comes in, we'll then spend mana to make armor. I like that. Okay. We then have two more open slots here. First time you see me get a win? Absolutely. So we need one more win to win the entire game. And then we can push things further forward and compete in the regional tournament. It's going to be good. Absolutely. I'm looking forward to the big win, though. Uh, the emerald can inflict poison. I don't know if I like that. Attacking faster, we definitely like. So I think I would next like a fancy-looking yellow upgrade for like a big yellow gem there to attack as fast as possible in the axe. Yeah, I definitely agree, awesome person. And one of the armors that gives us um, mana usage would be huge. Hello to you, Rhino Jacket the OG. That's an amazing name. My jacket is not made of Rhino, I'll have you know. But Rhino Jacket, thanks for the raid. How's it going? Hope you're having a good day for sure, for sure. Do these stack. If I have two Corrupted Crystals, do we then deal like 75 more damage? I never know how things stack. Let's find out. Hey, Round Jacket, you're playing a game called Stardew Valley. I love Stardew Valley. That's a very, very good game. Uh, my wife loves it also. Hope you're having a good one. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Very good. Very good being here with you for sure. Thanks for hanging out with us. All right, so we have another blue gem. Um, I don't really need more blue gems, except put them into the shield for additional armor, possibly. Um, possibly. But I need to get additional. Oh, we have two basic blue gems, so we don't need a third one right now. Mm, but again, yeah, 
uh, Brown Jack, thanks for the thanks for the fo uh, host rather, raid host words are hard, etc. Uh, we can do is I guess just combine these like so, and then I'm not gonna re-roll. I'll save my two other gems for now. Put one in a slot there. Opponent's healing reduced, absolutely, which means we can do this instead. Cool, I like it. I like it a lot. We now ignore armor entirely. This person will begin with some armor. Axe, please. All right, our axe is getting through. It's yet to crit, unfortunately. There's the crits. There's the crits. And she's staminating out. So we'll definitely win this thing. There we go. <laughs> I don't know if you saw the last attack there. Let me bring up the battle log in case you missed that one. What happened at the end? Things were looking all fine, doing damage back and forth, back and forth. Oh, the double axe crit for 150 damage. <laughs> she ended up at negative 92. <laughs> so it's just a matter of waiting until we get the big crit. So more crit increase, more good, yes please. And as you know, the Brass Knuckles increase the crit chance with every hit. So a nice improvement, a really nice improvement would be to get um, something that increases the speed of the Brass Knuckles. So gloves would be really, really nice here. We'll keep our eyes out for gloves. That was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, we could take the win and get 14 points. We're currently at 12, so we'd still be in lower tier gold. Uh, or survive for five more rounds, maybe up to plus 23. As long as we win at least one, we should be fine. Let's keep going. Can't ever stop. <sighs> hey, it's armor. All right, this armor will be really, really nice to gain even more armor as the fight begins. Um, I wish it were on sale so very much. Also, I need more bags. Uh, in the immediate, we have four basic rubies. We could potentially combine. I guess we'll start on that just for more lifesteal. If we got rid of some of the boxes of riches, we could then begin to um, combine these basics. Now, all that the gem boxes give you are the basic ones. So we need to be very careful to only install all of them. We know we want a lot more basic gems. Um, which, as of now, I'm not actually sure I do. Okay, let's look for a bag. Okay, we can combine another purple in. Oh, these combine already. Missed that. The Falls Amethyst, uh, we'll be starting down at the Chipped Amethyst again. It's a lot more climbing needed. We have five more rounds to go. So you could probably do the math if you want to, to figure out how many combines you can get in the next five rounds, but not sure. Uh, more speed possibilities. I am seeing a way to make my axe even faster. It goes there. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it is now in three speedy bags. Now, there's not enough room for that armor yet, but it's getting close. Now, this armor wants to combine with the hammer. This is not the best armor, but the dragon scale armor, which is the upgrade off of this with the hammer, gives some amount of armor when you hit Battle Rage. So not ideal, but good enough. Um, it's on sale, so I'm gonna buy it. I find a bag. Gloves also. All right, we have a lot of ways to potentially go here. Um, I believe I wanna go gloves more than anything else. That said, to get the gloves onto the brass knuckles, I need to move everything up to that's a whole bunch of reorganizing. So that's up one. Fine. We move this over like so and like so. The axe can go there. We just need to move this thing over a little bit. Hello, hello to you, Odd Blue. The Final Fantasy Sword? Yeah, the Final Fantasy Sword is in there. Um, I like my giant axe right now. The Final Fantasy Sword becomes the busted sword which is aptly hilarious name obviously it's good fun good fun uh, if i just slide everything down one tick 
We can then move everything up one. Shield goes back to there. This goes here. Gloves go like so. Hammer comes down to here. So for one round... For one round, the hammer will... We're fine. Uh, so the hammer will not have the bonus off the brass knuckles, but now it does, so that's good. There's no bonus from the axe back. I believe you're considering getting this game yourself. I'd encourage it. It's really fun. Uh, earlier today, I talked about my absolute degeneracy and not uh, starting stream on time because I was so fixated on playing more and more rounds of this. <laughs> All right. I see a way for us to get this armor, I or this armor in, I believe. Do I actually? I think I do. I might. Down, down. Grab that. This goes here. Uh, we have baby gems. If we take this green gem, we can combine the other two, combine to here, then because the regular emerald connects here. So higher level emeralds coming in. We love that. So I do want this also. I'm currently missing a banana. Okay, if I sell these, it's three and one. Buy this. Armor goes in. These can combine. If I move this out and this up, Banana can return to Battle Rage. Cool. Spare Yellow to help with Stamina. And I think that's everything. Don't need the Yellow necessarily. Move these over here and here. Yeah? Yeah? I'm going to say we're not going to have stamina problems. If we do, I'll regret not having this uh, uh, this little uh, gem in there to help with stamina. All right, here comes our battle. Hoping for crits. Hoping for giant crits. This person has a whole bunch of stamina uh, potions. They do have way more weapons than they can uh, motivate. We may end up losing. We just need a giant crit. The stuns. The stuns and the crits. The stuns and the crits. I oh, love it. Hey, good seeing you, HPG. Hope you having a good day, my friend. Uh, this is our last day of Backpack Battles, probably. But we did, um, we are having a lot of fun with it. Hey, Jonah, good morning to you also. How's it going? Uh, so, we did get lucky with a big Ur hit. It was not huge. The bigger deals we managed to um, stun out this guy right here. As opposed to the other people on the screen. <laughs> we stunned him out at the end. I think he didn't have enough stamina to attack again anyway with his weapons. Um, once we'd burned through all of his potions, he didn't have a way to maintain... Oh, he had one more stamina potion. So he wouldn't have to swing again. So I think the, st uh, the stun kept us alive, and that's all we can say about that. Uh, I think the gloves probably did win it, yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I got those then. What's the next game? I have not decided yet. Happy to hear any and all suggestions. Uh, I know some people definitely wanted to see some more um, Crusader Kings 3. I'm not sure what's next, but happy your suggestions and see what's what. Okay, so the gloves have upgraded now, so we resist poison, and then also uh, the claws make battle rage items trigger faster. I would like this to affect all of these weapons here, or at least the big axe. But if I do that, then the brass knuckles don't affect everything. Remove the smaller blue gems, large trumps it. Smaller blue gem. Small. You mean. So, I don't know what you mean exactly. I do like Slay the Spire. I put a decent amount of that there. I'm gonna try a good luck finish. We'll try for a good luck finish. Maybe we'll do a good luck playthrough and lose that as usual. <laughs> So I need to keep this blue here, definitely. Like, that blue is clearly, um, like, maximum armor avoiding. That needs to stay there. We can combine these reds now. 
and these reds as well. You're here to help me with your my gaming addiction? I don't want to talk about this anymore. <laughs> Is this an intervention? I'm going home. <laughs> I appreciate your kind care. You're lovely and good, but yeah. Uh, we do know the Rimworld DLC is coming out, I believe, in early May? I don't recall exactly when that is. Don't exactly recall. Yeah, it was definitely announced, though. It'd be, you know, within a month or so. There's also a new DLC coming out for Victoria 3, a new DLC coming out for... Oh, what else is there? Uh, yeah, new one for Crusader Kings 3 is coming soon. There are a lot of DLCs coming. No, DLC for CK3 just came out recently. New one for Stellaris is coming out soon. How will we ever play all the games? How will we ever, ever, ever? Okay, the thing I want to do right now is to upgrade my armor. So I need to get the hammer and the armor in range there. Easy way to do that is just move the banana to here, hammer to there. So the hammer is not getting the bonus to crit, or crit and such, but I'm not sure. Warhammer's getting a massive Nurgle DLC. I don't know what the Nurgle are. The problem is I played so little that I don't know hardly anything. Uh, there's not a final boss in this game because you're playing against other players, actually. So it's a total of, um, I think, what, 20 rounds, 19 rounds with that? You're playing other players all the way through. And allegedly, as you get higher and higher rank, um, they become better and better, which indeed they are doing. They are indeed doing that. I have 15 money. Um, so what do the dragon boots do? I cannot remember actually, are there dragon boots? I think there are dragon boots. There are, what do they do exactly? Chance to resist cold, gain in power and armor on battle rage entrance. Then in power means all of our weapons do one more damage. Can I tell you more about the Monday sponsor stream? So I haven't heard back definitively if it's happening, but if it's happening, it's a game called uh, New Cycle, which is a, um, a I think, 4 x game. I don't know. I can't remember. The problem is there's there's Old World and New Cycle, and a few other games that have very similar names. We can pull up the Steam page if you'd like to. Once I'm done with my, once I'm done with my backpack battling, <laughs> at that point, maybe. Okay, there's no particular reason for me to buy this basic chip sapphire. Unless I'm trying to upgrade this to gain more armor on mana gain. New cycle of the post-apocalyptic city builder. There we go. That's the game I might be playing on uh, on Monday, perhaps, perhaps. We could we could get rid of our lifesteal. New Cycle is very post apocalyptic city builder. Oh, is that, what's that? What's that? Is that what it is? It is New Cycle. So did I play it on my own? I may have already played New Cycle. In which case, they maybe asked me to play it again. <laughs> I remember calling it Brown Banish. That was true. Uh, we're not going to use this. We might use this. If I drop the lifesteal... I believe we've been needing the lifesteal to stay alive. Faster attack is pretty cool. That said, doing even more damage to finish off our enemy would be even better. So this helps with our stamina then, and this gives more damage. Oh shoot, you know what? These aren't touching. The shield gives bonus armor if they're touching, and they aren't. If we could just find a two bag, that'd be amazing. What you say? Ho ho! All right, all right, all right. So, neither of these have, I believe, neither of these have an increase based on speed. That they're now touching, so we get half again armor off of this thing. It still upgrades. We have one open slot there. This green gem would not immediately upgrade into anything. We're going to ignore it. A perfect yellow. Um, so big increase of attack speed. And some cheese. I don't see cheese fitting into this unless I can get a cheese burnt at some point. I'll reserve that for now, though. Okay. Welcome to an increased and better 
battle. Uh, this thing's win condition is just get a whole bunch of fire. Uh, if they get to 80 fire stacks, they end up uh, attacking for 100 damage. That said, they have these daggers which are consuming their fire almost as fast as they're making them. So I'm not quite sure what the aim of this build is, to be entirely honest with you. Um, so these uh, friendly fire and the blades work exactly counter each other. Friendly fire wants to build up fire. These want to subtract it. Um, they have three of them, actually. Oh, it's a hammer build. Thank you. I missed the hammer entirely. Okay. <laughs> we didn't get stunned. That all worked out. More upgrades, more good. Okay, so these two gems now combine for even more life steeled. Life steeled? Life steeled. These also increase again. We have a little yellow, a little red. So these two yellows can combine, at least for additional stamina gain. A little more armor, because why not? And if we sell one of these, we can get the perfect yellow. So base stamina increased by 50% or attacking faster or resist stun. So drop life steal or drop one of our do more damage under 30%. I think overall attacking faster is preferable. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I probably should have slotted one of these on the armor. So our big armor comes at the Battle Rage point. Uh, they've already had their big armor. So they're just like me, but with their armor already fired. Here comes my armor now. Cool. Cool, cool. Um, we, began, whoops, we began having some stamina problems there. Uh, it didn't quite run out, but it would have fairly soon. So more stamina increasing would be super nice. Possibly stamina potions if we see them. These want to combine, sure. The flute uh, gives random armor and such. Doesn't exactly fit into the build, except it can give random stamina also. But random is I do not enjoy. Baby yellow would combine. Also, two more seconds of battle rage. We love that. Uh, made a mistake there. We already had a baby yellow sitting inside the bag. Uh, so I'll sell that back. And the green's doing nothing. Uh, looking for... I don't recall what. Stamina goers. Stamina growers, stamina growers. Or we find a way to put our axe into yet another fanny pack. <laughs> uh, let's see if play the game Alien Dark Descent. It's a stealthy top-down squad game. I haven't played that many squad games. Oh, you know what? Oh, it doesn't quite fit. I'm about to say another glove right here would be absolutely amazing. Oh, also need to move this back. The hammer's inside of the bag also. Um, that actually better. The bag goes there. Good. So if I get another gloves, I can move that to there. Even more speed. Cool. Um, we'd like to increase... this also to get more speed on the brass knuckles now i can say with almost certainty i will run out of stamina on this so move the regular topaz out to gain more stamina i'm gonna save i'm gonna buy this one actually so what goes faster what if anything here would have an advantage for being inside of a a speedy bag. I mean, the garlic helps a little bit. <laughs> it gives occasional bits of armor. And these combine. I don't think anything else cared about speed except for the bananas and the weapons. But I think the way it's set up is basically what we want to do. Cheese will go here later. Okay. Two rounds to go! 
two rounds to go. This person's got a lot of life steal, and the animals, the animals are rip our face off. The mice. The mice give plague. Just keep critting. Just keep critting, I beg of you. There's just one more crit, you'll do it. <laughs> we got a 76 and a 74. That was pretty good. So let's have some, some mitigation there, because our axe should be doing 80 at the very least. Anyway, that worked out nicely. One more round. It's the giant Final Fantasy sword again. We don't need that. What do we actually need? So these combined, this is last round though, so combining does not matter anymore. Not even a little bit. So these two blues I do not need. I'll keep them just in case they have open slots. Perfect Amethyst, opponent's healing reduced even more. I'd kind of like that, but I can't believe both that and the cheese. The cheese is not really... Oh, sell gem boxes, thank you. Uh, I'm going to hold on to one of them so we have a chance of getting more in the um, in the shop, but this goes here. Wait, how does this go? I want to make sure that we have... The cheese and the garlic and the banana should touch. I go like this, the banana is still inside of the battery rage bag. <clears throat> so much space. We have way too much space, honestly. <laughs> like, I'm not quite sure what to do with all the space, to be entirely honest with you. Uh, one of these sapphires can go inside of this. Good. Yeah, opponent healing being reduced by 40. I think it's the right call. The yellow comes out then from our stamina gain. And I think that is roughly... Roughly the best I can do. I mean, I can sell the other gem box and just see what happens. Give me a reroll. What you got? More speed. Okay. Okay, this works. This works. I believe this works. Does this work? Armor bag moves up like so. Banana goes like this. Cheese like that. There's no place to put this bag. There's probably a way to make it work by changing where everything is. Like, this bag, what's that bag doing? Genuinely nothing, <laughs> it just lives there. <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Um, so I can sell this bag and re-roll for something, I suppose. Because right now I can fit all of my items in. Uh, more stamina gain. I believe that's the final build. Has a lot of holes. We can reroll to see what we get. What do we get? One tiny bit of healing. So tiny bit of healing in exchange for... Uh, this is actually a good trade. So this gives us two regen. This gives us one after six seconds. And then... Here that, so we'll have a little bit more healing all the way through. That's the build. Uh, do we get one last win this time for 15 wins? That's a lot of fire. That's a lot of fire. Also a lot of invulnerability. So, we're gonna lose. <laughs> I, I don't mean to be uh, discouraging, but we're not gonna do any damage here. <laughs> this is a really nice build she has. <laughs> All right, this build is pure shenanigans. <laughs> this build is pure shenanigans. So these, um, if you have 10 mana, you become invulnerable for two seconds. She has th three of them and one, two, three mana producers. So I have no idea how to beat that, honestly. Because you can go through armor, you can't go through invulnerability. Like genuinely, I do not know how to beat that.
because the, these are not based on stamina or yeah not, they're automatic um these are also not based on stamina usage so it's just a matter of she runs out of stamina she can't attack anymore but if she gets to 80 points which she did she attacks for 100 damage for free I, I guess the way you be beat this thing is just somehow hold off through all of her stamina. So have like 800 health possibly. <laughs> Does anyone know a counter this build on right? Like uh, the, the invulnerability is just obviously game modifying, game reshaping a build. The stamina wouldn't matter. But doesn't she stop doing damage with no stamina? I don't see a way that she has damage other than that 100 with no stamina. You probably get to a point where you're permanently invulnerable. Okay, maybe that's happening there. I mean, we did a little bit of damage. So at some point, she stopped producing enough magic to keep the crowns going all the time. But stuns? No, the stuns... I mean, the stun would stop um, her attacking us. They wouldn't stop the proccing of they stop the proccing of some mana, I guess, like this one in particular. But I have no idea. I have absolutely it's a ridiculously good. Maybe a gingerbread Jerry build with twelve hundred HP <laughs> that might do it. Yeah, it was a good run. It was a lot of fun. Uh, Fourteen wins. Pretty good. Pretty good. Do we go up? Plus twenty two. I think our maximum we could have gotten was like plus thirty. So not perfect, but pretty okay. The grind is slow. The grind is slow. Uh, I understand why that is. The players don't, like, fly through the ranks too quickly, but with a round like that, I would have thought I got more points. Anyway, we have 123 points after our first round today. That's pretty good. Uh, later eight issue, thank you very much for the generous resubscription. I appreciate that. It's good to see you later eight. Is it only once the invulnerable? Wait, is it actually? I thought the invulnerable was over and over and over again. That's the crown. Okay, it is only once. It is only being vulnerable once. I thought it was over and over again. Never mind. In that case, I was wrong about how that build actually works. There's not a permanent invulnerability. It's still six seconds though. So six seconds is a lot of game time. <laughs> but she got the six seconds and also managed to get the um, fiery pet up to 80 for the 100 damage on top of that. So had we survived a little bit longer, eventually we'd have gotten through the crowns, but six seconds is a lot of time. Anyway, we managed to unlock another item. So let's get a Pyromancer item unlocked. I think we're playing her next. So, so far we got her different hair. That's the one move we did. Could get her a different weapon. Slightly brighter <laughs> flaming balls. <laughs> Get her different clothing, uh, namely the sun armor. Uh, get her also a different bag from red to gold. Or lastly, boots that are more gold-like. All right, all right. I'm gonna play Pyromancer, I think. That sounds like a fun way to go. We're at 33 gold there, which I think is our second highest gold now. Yeah, 34, 33. At some point today, we'll play the Reaper. Don't fear the Reaper, but we'll see how it goes. Okay. What do I want to be when I grow up? The, the most hilarious build we've done so far on her is the all dragons all the time. Because even if your character's stunned, the dragons just keep attacking. So, dragons be really fun, obviously. Um, we should first work, though, on upgrading that sword. And we also need another weapon. So I'm going to grab the broom for right now, just so we have another weapon. I'll grab the fire also. We won't need the banana yet. But getting it for healing would be a nice idea. No whetstones. But yes, coal. Cool. Um, no new girl anymore. The banana should be enough healing. Let's get this thing started. I'm not going to force dragons, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, we're doing some good damage. Hooray. Um, I'm actually not sure how we won that one. <laughs> I'm very happy about it, but I thought we'd be a little closer than that uh, because of the... Oh, we won it by having more starting HP. You get starting HP for every fire inside the pit. Very early, it's so important. Cool. 
Hi, a whetstone. Hooray, a whetstone. And a bag also. Okay. So. Sword turns, gets fire. A whetstone buffs both of these. Fire in. Gloves? For speedier something. Sure. We win. Most certainly win. I might make a torch also. I've seen a number of the endgame builds on Pyromancer use torches instead of swords. If we have a chance for it, we'll go for it. This is the chance for the, uh, the torch. We would dump the broom to get that. Oh, you know what? The broom can become a, like, fire staff. I've never made a staff. So you start with this one. It's, I believe, just broom plus magic orb. And then broom plus magic orb plus maybe the dragon orb or maybe just fire. I'm not sure which one. You then burn mana and heat to gain more damage on the staff. Anything that burns off heat, I don't like. But maybe we'll go for that. We'll see. We have no mana generation right now. Uh, this is the awkward moment where I'm not quite sure if we should go for um, additional torch or try to get the um, whatever I just said a moment ago. <laughs> try to get the staff. <laughs> I am going to try to get the staff. I've not done it previously. So with that stamina, we could probably have a third weapon now, but a little bit too late. Both weapons get the bonus now. Okay. <laughs> Goobert, no! Uh, Goobert can never heal in this setup. Um, I got the two initial... Uh, activations, but now no more, so we'll win this. It had Goober been flipped, pick up the sword, uh, the hammer at least, I'm not sure what it happened. <laughs> so, you may have seen something there called overconfidence. I absolutely thought we would have won that by quite a bit more, but one point is a okay, all right. Why do I have the six fire? Um, no particularly good reason. Uh, other than that, I have no place to put it right now, and we get one fire every single turn. Um, yeah, it's early enough in the game that we're going to get enough fires as time goes by. That said, we could have bought the fire because only one, and you could sell it back for only one. So it would have been a, a free purchase, like this stone here, for instance. That's the kind of thing I'm, I'm not going to keep my eyes out for, things that are buyable and sellable for the exact same price. Like, this, for instance, I should probably always buy. I thought they'd open a lot for it. More stamina. More stamina. It's on sale. More stamina. All right, second whetstone. Very cool. All right, so second whetstone will go here to get us the hero sword. Hero sword becomes blazing sword after that. I'm all in on making the fire broom. We'll see how it works. <laughs> Instantly, the answer to the question of why didn't you do X is because I'm bad at the game. Like, guarantee that's the answer. <laughs> I, I can give a post hoc justification more often than not, but uh, it really is just me guessing at an answer usually. Nice. Okay. Uh, our sword becomes a burning sword. I want our swords to be touching, ideally. Our, sorry, our weapons touching, because the hero sword now gives two damage to the broom. It'd be really neat. That's right, really neat if we have the Gloves of Haste also. Also touching the uh, broom and the weapon at the same time. It's not going to happen, though. I might need junk the broom still, we'll see. Uh, Bayou, let's go back in. Open spots. 
The blueberry would help the banana fire more quickly. The longer the fight goes, the better that is. Yes. 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 Okay. So, we have our way to upgrade to a fire staff now. Good. We still have more starting health than the enemy does consistently. This person may put on a ton of damage. Um, the claw attack can go faster for every, is it two or one? Every single spike they get. So we're spiking ourselves out on that one. The combination of their attack going faster and faster and faster, and us hitting ourselves into the spikes over and over again. Not super great. Not super great at all. Okay. So we need to find the orb now that upgrades the magic staff. For right now, it consumes mana to deal more damage and increases damage by two. We don't have mana generation though. We need that next. We also need two more whetstones, I think. Hey, Alpha Merrick, the backpacks are going well. We're solidly in gold rank now. Which seems pretty fun. Uh, chili pepper, sure. Chili pepper gives more heat, more speed. We like that. Speedy bag. Speedy, speedy, speedy bag. And, more importantly, the orb we need to make this thing into the uh, fire staff. The short term speedy bag. Next round, the orb. So, let's get. Good, faster blueberry and banana both. And that's what we can do for now. Wait, this is moved down. So with a sword in, it is counting as a fire item because it's a fire sword. But if I move it to here, the sword attacks even faster. Which do I prefer? Well, it's not touching this weapon. I need to do that instead. Or I usually do this to have fire in as well. Oh, you know what? The chili should be here. Actually, actually, if the chili's like that, the banana works faster, more stamina. There's also a 10% speed increase from these touching. But like this instead, because the haste made the pepper go even faster. We eventually want to move the magic staff out of the fire pit. I don't see what we're doing right now. It's not terribly disruptive. Higher. Okay. It's us who found all the wet stones. Yeah, without mana, the magic staff is not doing anything for as far as weapon gain or attack gain. We have more heat than she does. Good. Okay. I like a sun shield, but it's at full price. Um, so we're going to go with just the orb. I have the orb actually go here. With that, both are being touched now. But even faster heat gain. The fire staff next. Extra fire. Go. Oh boy, it's time for an ad break. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> All right, I will take the ad break. I will play some crossword. This build is working very nicely, but. Uh, subclass unlocked. The choice is gonna be what kind of pyromancer will we be? Nothing's on sale. We'll decide on that after the ad break. Friends, three minutes of ads. I'll do a crossword puzzle. You won't miss a single minute of backpack battling action. Woo, crossword woo. I definitely skipped one ad break today because I'm the worst person in the world. All right, the Thursday crossword is the adorable little baby owl. Just trying the crossword for the first time. It's a smallish puzzle. Wait, why is there a mini crossword? Is this new? 
So I know that the mini crossword is very popular over on New York Times. This is the first New Yorker mini I've ever seen. Oh, this kind of breaks my heart. Uh, frequently to a poet is probably oft in. Cirrus or Polaris are both stars. They're also kind of cards, I believe. Uh, pi r squared for a circle is uh, ra radia ra radius? I'm not sure. Pearl Harbor's Island is Oahu. That's not how it's spelled. Um, group might throw a keg party is a frat. Oh, it's an area. That's it. Light in color. Light in color. Um, not sure. Me day destination is the spa. Pale is the answer. Bottomless say has no... <laughs> Uh, goes directly from point A to point B. Flies as the crow. Takes no detours. Uh, wombs or uteri. Lead into skeleton or planet, probably exo. Uh, blank dots. Dip in dots. Connect the dots. Not sure. Uh, hairstyle worn in puffs, the afro. Uh, this goes blank wafers. There's nilla wafers. Uh, blank dots, polka dots, sighting of interest to an alien hunter the UFO. Uh, misplaces is probably, I'd say leaves, but loses. Uh, not temporary, just permanent. Uh, spreadsheet contents are cells, uh, data, that's a plural. Let's get it on singer Marvin Gaye. Uh, ish or so. Uh, faucet is a tap. Uh, goes directly from point A to B is teleports. Make of comfortable is take a seat. Uh, Alex Trebek. And second try is a redo. Aight. Aight. Um, as a streamer who enjoys doing these on stream, the uh, move to the mini puzzle, not ideal. <laughs> Definitely not ideal. <laughs> Now, that said, I know a lot of people really, really, really enjoy mini puzzles, so cool. I mean, it's it's free, so I'm not going to complain, but... But. All right. Well, we can knock out today's universal puzzle, then, and maybe the Washington Post puzzle also. We got time. All good, all good. Uh, who makes this thing? Universal puzzle is... I can't remember the person's name right now, but we'll look it up. Universal Crossword. Andrews McMeal. It's Andrews McMeal. Does this one? I will change from this screen. This screen. Maybe we'll do the cryptic crossword. Maybe. Maybe. All right. Retro footwear is the title. Uh, microwaves could be Zaps. Uh, Taylor Swift's blank song. Her song, maybe. I know if that's true, but she has a lot of titles. What she and her and my. Uh, putting into service. Putting into service. Uh, you using, possibly? Not sure on that one. Uh, Carmen, composer, is Verdi, I believe. That's probably wrong. PD looks very bad. Travels by foot in a way. <laughs> is it going to be pedals? <laughs> I think it's pedals. Is travel by foot. Uh, rise to the challenge. Rise to the challenge. Mm. Uh, grabbed a bite. Just ate. Caught us with roping. The rodeo. Escape the clutches of... Avoid, escape, hmm. Heroes undoing. In this answer, notice letters six through three. So fatal flaw, I assume. So six through three. Three, four, five, six. F-L-A-T. So flat is hidden there. Flat. Pieces of food for a dog, say. How about a treat? How about a treat? Hyphenated juice brand is High C. What is E T A H? Beehive State Resident. Ah, uh, it's not her apparently. Uh, Klutz is an oaf. Utah is the Beehive State, I believe. Wait, is Utah in though? Is it our song? That'd be our song. Fix as loose laces is retie. I better not to Rebus A-N here. What's this here? Uh, Taiwanese laptop maker's Acer. It can't just be Utah like that, can it? Maybe it is. No idea. Anyway, uh, first ad break of the day is done. Let's get back to puzzling. The other kind of puzzle. It's great. Ah, the question, though, is what kind of 
pyromancer do you want to be when we grow up? So Firebender, super, super great. Requires us, though, to uh, produce mana. The Staff of Fire also wants to consume mana. So that's kind of awkward together, unless we get a bunch of mana generation. Skill Warden, we've not done anything in the direction of dragons yet. Dragons are fun. I've never done Crusader, though. So 25% chance to protect buffs on you from being removed and debuffs on your opponents from being cleansed. So we can keep our heat more easily and get holy items. So holy items then activate the cause blind. And this item then removes buffs, produces regeneration. So regeneration is consumed by something. I think if we go Crusader, we're going to try to go to the Holy Fire armor and then also try to do that absolutely ridiculous um, build we saw we're defeated by at the end, namely the Endless Invulnerability. Sure, I've never done Crusader, let's learn Crusader. And we have no Holy Items currently, nor do we have any mana generation. So we got to fix both of those things. Hey, it's another, let's turn it on fire, coal. Good. We'll surely use this bag. So for right now, this can live here. It does nothing <laughs> other than protecting our buffs and creating and removing buffs in the enemy. Fine. Um, I could see myself upgrading these gloves to give even more speed increase. And we can then use that to speed up the Burning Banner. So sure, let's do that. What's Stone Scale do? Uh, when you have at least 45 armor, consume this and convert 15 health to additional armor. So 45 armor by being, by being having, by being having, that's right, by having <laughs> the... Um, sun armor, I believe. How much does sun armor start you with? If it's at least 45, we're good to go on that. You begin with 70 armor. Okay. Okay, I think I like that then. But I think I'm going to save our money for now. We may get rid of the Burning Sword at some point here. Okay, we're getting blinded with these, so we're our accuracy is going to be very, very bad. Uh, I think it's a, what, 4% chance of blinding us with every single one. The blinds, 5% loss of accuracy. All we do is miss, miss, miss no matter what. Oh, it's close. Oh, it's close. All right. So, yeah, that worked very effectively. Uh, she was poisoning while also blinding. Uh, I've never done a blind build myself, but I guess the way that you counter blind builds is increase accuracy on your weapons as much as possible. Yeah, all those misses felt pretty bad. That's okay, though. Uh, another burning coal. We don't have any slots currently. So I need a bag. Like, really necessarily, just need a bag. That is a bag of some sort. Okay, we also have a whetstone to increase this the next side sword, possibly. For now, we have three fires here. With five money, I could find a four square bag. I could make a chili goobert. Now, does chili goobert work well with... Crusader. Chili Goober is not holy. He helps to produce additional heat, which is then consumed by the Burning Banner. No, it's not. It's consumed by the Staff of Fire. Maybe. I meant to combine this already. Is there slot in the staff? It looks like no, unfortunately. Yeah, no slots there. It just hangs up, taking up all my space. 
I'm thinking Chili Goober, yes. We just need mana production. The blueberries do produce mana, kind of. That's our desperate way of making more mana for this thing. It's just very, very slow. That said, every two is consumed by the Staff of Fire. So we are getting some more. Oh, this person has so many weapons for maximum stamina. And so they didn't quite kill us. Had they been able to stay alive a little while longer, their beast would have killed us absolutely. But we held on anyway. I think the regen was a pretty smart idea. We do want to speed this up some more, though. Uh, I'm considering with our stamina being pretty stable, um, moving the gloves over to being on the burning banner to help us cast regeneration even faster. I'd like another bag, though. May I please have another bag? How about a bag? What do you say? All right, I ask for more speed, I get more speed. Fantastic. Now, how do we make this work? We have no holy items yet. A bit unfortunate. So this can go absolutely wherever. Your skill warden plus dragon or build is too stamina intensive. Okay, Jim. Yeah. Um, the dragons, because you just need to stay alive with the dragons, right? That's the whole story. If you just stay alive, everything is fine forever. <laughs> but if you don't stay alive, then you got some problems. Uh, so the sword is still touching a staff of fire. It's no longer inside the fire bag. So we move things aside to get even more starting health. So that's max starting health there. Player's card, yes. Holy items. The Divine Potion counts as a holy item. I've actually never used the Divine Potion. First time for everything, I suppose. Okay, so we now have one holy item. That does not help us at all. That's a horrible purchase. <laughs> so, <laughs> all this thing does is, when that activates one time, maybe, uh, it will then cause a blind, possibly. That was a terrible item to get. <laughs> what am I even doing here? <laughs> I push buttons. Do you enjoy watching me push buttons, friends? Alright, so this person has a bunch of crafted items. Uh, this is a build I like a whole bunch. Um, so the crafted items cause more damage um, and less stamina burn on their hammer. I think we're going to lose here, probably. This is a really fun build to have, though. Now we'll see. Oh, we'll see. I was pretty sure we'd lose that thing. Yeah, it's a really cool build, though. Um, I'm surprised their armor is here, actually. Like, very surprised. Because it's a crafted item that's not touching the... Not touching the anvil. Okay, is there way actually to get everything together here? Yeah, all of these, which is non-crafted, can move up to here, and then this could turn outside this way. Yeah, a little surprising there. Has been barely any Reapers today. Yeah, I've heard from a lot of people that the Reaper class is just not terribly balanced right now. Like, it's, it's weak. Um, and then I don't exactly enjoy playing Reaper. It seems to be you just build up a lot of lifesteal and armor and then sit around, <laughs> which is somewhat less compelling gameplay. It's slow going, but... Yeah, my Reaper is the only character I have that's not gold ranking yet, so that's how it goes. Uh, if I'm going Chili Burt, I need to do that fairly soon. We don't have the space room, though. I almost always use the potion belt just as space to use for more piling of things, as opposed to the way it's supposed to use, name with potions. Oh, I didn't put the card back on. Oh, mistake. Uh, the gin lamp is amazing. Uh, yesterday while playing off stream, I saw a hunter with four gin lamps all actually working. It's so much generation. So much generation for, uh, yeah, so much generation of everything. And so the weapon gets 27 additional damage. It was firing over and over and over again. It was horrible. <laughs> it, was, it was the kind of build where I saw it and said, oh, that's how it works. Well, we're dead now. <laughs> uh, what a bag. This is a holy item. So this holy item fires regularly, gaining and consuming 
gaining and consuming um, regen. This also makes regen. So these two together are very, very good. I can afford it if I sell some flames. Um, is there a way then that I'm able to get this into the bags? I believe the answer is yes. When I say yes, I believe the answer may be no. <laughs> uh... Okay, I need just one more slot. This does not have to be here. Awesome. Okay, um... So, oh, we do have a slot here. Wait, wait, wait. I said we didn't have a slot. Oh. I thought on mouse over, you could see the slot. I apologize. I was totally, totally wrong. There was a slot there the whole time. Huh. Imagine that. <laughs> a slot on... <laughs> uh, video games. Uh, video games. Uh, so we like the... Uh, the... Chili pepper down here. Here or so. So we need to move this down two slots. We move down one slot and still touch the Crusader's banner. For right now, though, I can't where I want to move it. Okay, let's chill up or just hang out there. Ocean probably not actually needed. We have no open slots. Let's go. Our container has an open slot, and also I need to use that eventually. Okay, pets and poison. Pets and poison, pets and poison. They're reflecting things. We're ramping up nicely. The healing is happening. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So the heart kind of worked very well there. It's another item I'd like to speed up if possible. Um... Actually... If I can move the fanny pack here, we can move the burning banner down and the heart tear down also. My pen remake everything, unfortunately. Or we get what we want immediately. <laughs> that works too. And then the chili can touch here as desired. Now, it'd be cool to move this down also. Goober, just get the goober. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> well, chili bird is delightful. Let me see here. So if I move this to here. All three can now touch. I prefer to have the banana going faster than anything else. Well, is that true, actually? Chili faster is good also. Okay. Goobers chili is love. You just want the goobers. Do I give the people what they want? I mean, I could jam the lightsaber into goobert and make the, the holy bird. I should have never used Lightsaber Goobert. Here he is. Six item activations, heal for 20, inflict more blind. I mean, that is wholly useful for the build we're putting together. Um, except the holiness. Additional blind creation. Is game free? It's not, Dangle. No, it's... And there is a demo. There's a demo that's very similar to the finished game. But it's not free if you want to play the fuller version. Yesterday, Noms watched me playing it for a while. She said, the graphics are ugly. This game shouldn't cost any money. <laughs> I said, no, I enjoy it quite a bit. Yeah, the demo is really fun for sure. Okay, this is an investment in the future, my friends. You will have your chili bird. Maybe. This is so expensive. 
is so I so I, I need this armor to be like proper holy armor to um, cleanse poison faster and to get more armor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's just it's very expensive, so I'm gonna re-roll with a mind of finding ones on sale. Also, I forgot to put the card in. That's the second round of shopping with the card in. No good, no good. The spring sale finished yet. <gasps> the spring sale finished yesterday. Steam free uh, spring sales over. I didn't buy any of the Total War DLC I meant to buy. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oh no. I even put some in my cart and didn't buy it. Oh, that feels awful. <laughs> That's definitely a mistake. I uh, agreed that the chili bird is less useful here than holy bird, I assume. That's fine. I've learned my lesson when we discuss things on stream, namely when we discuss uh steam sale must buy immediately. Definitely, definitely. I think the sun shield's holy also, isn't it? It's holy fire. That's it, I'm fired? Absolutely. I can't be trusted as a master gamer anymore. It is holy fire. Not on sale though, unfortunately. All right, a little bit more. Armor. More of this. You good, Namza, the art is ugly. How dare you? <laughs> it is part of the charm, I agree. Absolutely agree. It is. It's not ugly though. It, it, it's uh, anime, delightful. That's my lightsaber. Give me that lightsaber. <laughs> uh, this build is just keep the armor up on their side until the little animals consume me. And the lightsaber is bu building up more and more damage. That said, uh, we are stripping their increase of damage, which would probably be about 20 by right now had we not been stripping it. Yeah, I don't want to say it's an absolute counter there, but it felt pretty good. So I could get 14 win points right now, uh, taking us up to about 50 or so. Gotta keep going though. Survive six more rounds. Okay. A second heart container. Well. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay, I didn't see how much uh, regen we ended that fight with. Because this does burn through seven regen at a time. And this is our only regen producer right now. I'm interested. Uh, Draconic Orb on sale gives critical hits. I like that very, very much. I just need a bag. That's not really a bag. What this bag could do is put it here and have the heart container go here. Get, get rid of the Divine Potion. We don't need the Divine Potion uh, because the Burning Banner is consistently stripping buffs from their side. And I think something else strips debuffs from my side. Maybe. So we get rid of this. Sell one of you. More healing, more good. The Burning Banner is not inside of a fanny pack. We don't need to consume all the slots in the heart container. Just one slot needs to be inside the fanny pack. So there's probably a way to reshuffle this where we can share at least with the Burning uh, Banner there. So... Time for a reorg, friends. Time for the reorg. So what I would like to have happen is that the Burning Banner shares with the other hearts. That works on that side. We need one more bag to make it work on this side. Wait, that doesn't work at all. <laughs> it's beautiful, he says, while well, actually not using what he talked about. <laughs> uh, sorry, the armor goes there and there, and now that's doable. Okay, cool. Um, 
This is not in. This is not in. Uh, I would like to have one armor here to move this down, so that can go there then. Good. And we just need one more square there. Be able to put the item here. I'm sorry, Goober. I've always loved you. Hmm. Mana generation I'd like to have. These are we shift things. This can come up by one. We lose the chili. We gain this. Chili to here. Chili to here. Fire, fire. Fire. I think. I think that's better. Yeah, and in the long run, I'll try to get the chili back to here instead. Just need one more whetstone. Just one whetstone, please. All right, let's see how this one goes. That's a lot of poison. That's a lot of poison. Also, we still have no actual armor. We have fairly good health regen. So we're keeping an eye on the pile of regen there. They're up to 90 poison. We're going to lose. <laughs> We're going to lose. So I thought I had a buff stripper. Maybe it was on the armor. Maybe it was on the armor. So there you go. Like I said, you just build up a trance out of, of poison and then sit back and get to 100 poison every two seconds. Definitely a way to win the fight. All right. All right. That's how that goes. So Chili Pepper returned where we wanted there. And... How are we on mana? So let's use two mana as often as possible. Nothing else currently uses mana. We generate mana off of the blueberries. 3.5 seconds, we gain one mana. So more mana, more good. I had a buff stripper. I did not have a buff stripper, so there was no one... Stripping for me, unfortunately. Gotta get a buff stripper eventually. <laughs> to have a good time out. Uh, um, so Shield of Valor becomes Sun Shield. Does not remove... Does not remove buffs, but would be nice to have anyway. Not on sale. Gonna skip it. Hey, bag. Hey, the armor I want. Hey, even better, the crown I want. Okay, I can afford the crown right now. That beautiful invulnerability. The only issue is there's no way I can get into the build right now. Unless I dump one of the foods. But it needs even more mana generation. Okay. I actually spoke an untruth. This can go here. So we just need more mana generation. And mana generation also. Does the upgraded armor of magic give? Here. Wait, here? Every three seconds gain three magic and reflect two debuffs. Yeah, the moon armor actually might be better than the fire armor. So Sun Armor will be additional speed and a little healing. The Sun Armor has better synergy with the Crusader Banner, but it has less production of mana. Right, we're going for the Fire Armor still, but we are going to um, try to also find more mana orbs. Yeah, that is correct at this point. Okay, a battle. We have five rounds to go. Do we survive through them? Hey, it's animals. Ah, uh, they harmed themselves on the start here. They have one regen. I don't think their build actually works the way they want it to work. 
Because I, I think it's the case that you need a long time for the Obsidian Dragon to take down enemies. And so the starting... Losing half your life with only one reincarnation does not buy enough time for the animals to do their work. It's a lazy phoenix build. I mean, I guess that's right. It just isn't going to work. I don't think. I mean, I shouldn't say that. They're fairly far into the uh, into the games. So it's working just fine, of course. I need to stop. I need to stop after each battle and see what amount of which buffs we still have. Because if we have a lot of fire, like, it'd be cool to have another pile of crits. Like, more crits, more good, obviously. But only if I have spare heat at the end. Hey, Daigle, thank you for reading the Chinese there. I appreciate that. Because surely I can read it, too. <laughs> Alright, mana. Another crown. Ah, oh, these items. So I'd like both of them, but at what cost? We could sell back our card. I need mana. Oh, the orb doesn't use... No, it doesn't use um, fire. As you can see, am I getting to 15 fire at any point? I don't know if I am. Because <laughs> I don't have any flame generator except for the sword. You think I get to 15? Okay. In that case, another orb wouldn't be bad. So I sell three. I get a second crown. I just need more mana production. Like, that's the entire story here is, from this point forward, do I get mana production or no? So watching mana this time... A lot of cheese, a lot of weapons. A lot of cheese, a lot of... You're not, you don't have stamina for this, do you? Uh, stamina is holding up pretty well. We're sitting at one mana. We're not having enough mana. We're not having enough mana to get the invulnerabilities off. I don't think we get any invulnerabilities, actually. Alright. Alright, unfortunate. How about a mana orb? Thank goodness. I ask, I get. How great is that? Now, Blueberry also produces mana, so I want to keep it around. Luckily, there's another bag. And is there a way I can get this with the other foods there? The answer, I believe, is no. Streamer luck? You better believe it. <laughs> Every day of the week. Also, our shield is finally on sale. Alright. This shield would be so nice to have. For the moment, you're going to live over here. I need, I need mana shield, not sun shield. For the moment, that I think. We're not rerolling again. Um, no open slots. Mana inside of the fire pit, not ideal. But that is okay. I don't think we can actually run both of these, unfortunately. Until we have the mana shield going. We'll see. Oh, the creatures! The friends of the forest! Attacking pretty fast! We need more mana. We're gonna get more mana soon. I'm actually gonna stamina out here. For having a long time. Huh, surprised to win that. Also look, that's an N. That's a key. That's a Chi. Cheekeen. Cheekeen. Oh, isn't that some like terribly offensive thing? I think it's supposed to yell if you've been molested in public. <laughs> I, I think this might be a, a naughty word. I can't remember exactly. <laughs> I read the characters aloud, though. I can read Japanese. I just don't know what it means. Uh, oh, 
Oh gosh. Hey! Hey, the other, uh, other whetstone. Awesome. Uh, it took too long, but there it is. Uh, great. Alright, so... We want to stack... This with other armor generators. That's how you get mana. We don't have any other armor generators. <laughs> so... As the moment, at the moment, this is a basic shield to remove stamina and print damage. If we can get the upgraded armor, actually any armor, I'll be very, very pleased. Very pleased. I still have too much fire I may have. If the balance between fire and mana, I'm not sure what to do. Like, I need both of them very, very badly. How about an armor? The Wolver Tinger, if I had room. Um would help us gain mana more quickly. It is a godly creature. And godly is holy. Wait, wait holy at the bottom. It's nature. It's not holy. So no. Okay, more space just to throw more fire in. But golly gosh, we need the armor pretty badly. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. This isn't... Uh, hello. Uh, double re... Uh, re... Uh, resurrect, rather. Their armor's down. So, this is their big resurrect. They're doing little damage now, by comparison to when it started. They have stamina problems. It's gonna be close. We're gonna lose. Yeah. yeah, it was close. We lost. Uh, fine. So I think this is a case where I saw a build defeat me, and then immediately said, "Oh, I want to make that build," even though we didn't get the items we needed for it. So I think the moment at which I said we're not gonna get the uh, fire armor early. At that point, this build stopped working because we just don't have sufficient mana production. Like the regen production is awesome. Regen, so good, so good, so good. So we should be getting tons of health constantly. We're up to 520 overall health. We just need the mana to actually do some damage. <laughs> like, without the mana, damage production is not really happening. We got two more tries. How about some? <gasps> How is about some armor indeed? Uh, we have the upgraded sword. That's pretty nifty. That is pretty nifty. We need one more coal if possible. The armor's more expensive than I'd like to spend on it. For right now, this is preferable to the shield. But if we can get some bags, we can jam this thing back in, I think. We need one for the side and above. Now we could move the potion bag to help with this. In the short term, we can't do anything with it. We just need another bag. I can sell fire if I need to to get there. I want to set another bag. I didn't mean like that. <laughs> what, what is wrong with you, video game? Hmm. <laughs> oh, the coal, thank you. There's a coal. Um. Yeah. That coal will then be the other slot inside of our burning blade. Uh, this is the last round, so we did not get exactly the build we're going for. And I'm not sure we actually need both gl glowing crowns, but I can't do anything else in, so. Final round! Do we get one more win or are we stuck at 12? Alright! This is a very fast sword build, or axe build. This is similar to what I had uh, last round. That said, we have a ton of armor, or a ton of health, rather. So as long as we don't get crazy crits against, we should be okay. Uh, they've hit their battle. Oh, we got crazy crits. 118 damage! That'll do it! That's basically the build I had last time. <clears throat> Just with, uh, 
the uh, Goobert giving even more weapon damage. So that's fine. That's fine. Ended up with only 12 wins. We'll gain some points. That's all right. We survived. 17 points. All right. So up about 50. Nice, nice, nice. We now have two characters in middle gold rank. Uh, Middle-ish gold. We've yet to play Hunter today. We've also yet to play Reaper. We have about two hours of stream left. So I'm kind of thinking of just doing Berserker over and over again or Power Mantle over again to try to get to Platinum level. But I do enjoy being a multi-character player. So... So... We'll play Reaper. Okay. As I said before, I don't know how to play Reaper effectively. <laughs> it's just not clear to me what I'm doing. Um, a weapon with a whetstone would help. The piggy bank sells back for two, so this is free. I've never done gems on... The Reaper. If we do gems, we're looking for armor and like anything with slots, obviously. So armor and the Reaper's blade, which increases the chance or the amount of poison put out. Oh, the shovel bill. The shovel bill would be so much fun. You recall we were defeated by the shovel bill last time. <gasps> shovel build. Shovel build. Shovel build. Let's try Shovel Build. I can't force it, but Shovel Build would be really, really fun, wouldn't it? Okay. Round one. Shovel Build. Spear Build. This is going to strip my armor. Luckily, I have none. <laughs> but Spear does a lot of damage. 3.3 DPS versus R. 2.1! Yeah, this is close. That's okay. This is part of shovel build. This plus broom is shovel. Uh, we aren't set up for pan by any means whatsoever. That said, pan can also be food build if need be. If food, sell whetstone, get banana. Ooh. Having sold whetstone, getting whetstone back feels bad. At four plus three, we can do. Not sure if gems are good, but gems are ours anyway. So we're now looking for either... What is it? I, uh, we're looking for either the Corrupted Crystal or for the um, Shovel. <laughs> All right. The stuns did us in that time, unfortunately. Oh, the pig being there was a mistake. Uh, the pig didn't give any bonuses. The sword would have given us consistent um, poison chances. Uh, gemstone for lifesteal. I don't know. I don't know. Shovel build. Shovel build. Shovel build. Alright, goodbye to pig. Shovel's coming in hot next round. So, shovel build is do as much blinding as possible so they miss over and over and over against you while you're attempting to poison them up. I think we saw a dual shovel earlier, which seemed very, very cool. We do not have sufficient stamina to do all this. I'm going to sell the sword. And then, yeah, we're going to try for second shovel. Yeah. 
This little Ranzi has one sword. This little Ranzi is going to lose, unfortunately. We actually didn't go out of stamina at all. We would have after the next attack. Shuffle. Shuffle. Okay. Uh, ideally, a second shell would be good. Right now, we're only using 0.7 stamina, so adding another pan in would allow us to... We'll have to get another shovel, potentially. Um... We have an upgraded lifesteal. So this attacks rate 2.4 versus 2.2. This is better to give the pan another piece of food. Gems just feel very awkward. Like, um, they do not help me at all with procking poison. So it feels very strange to have. Uh, Gloves of Haste for faster shoveling, I think, is better. So I'm going to keep the gem box for now. I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm trying to do anymore. I've, I've lost the thread in some measure, which is how I always feel with these builds. We don't need coal. Guess we can grab the bag. This will help with stamina generation. Not sure if more banana. <laughs> Goobert! I'm sorry I abandoned you last time through Goobert. That was terrible of me. Yeah, all the names we see in the uh, Chinese character script, I'm not sure. I think we're probably on an Asian server. Uh, though we have no stamina, working just fine. <laughs> Again, only one sword. Actually, at the end of this uh, combined, they have no weapons. Hopefully they find one to buy next time. <sighs> so this is not shovel build. This is not shovel build, that uh, giant blood harvester. It is just go into... Um, yeah, go into the vampirism hairbrush as specialization to get more vampirism to attack quickly and steal health through poison, ultimately. I'm combining two scythes. I've never used a scythe. I've used the other one, the epic level one, or legendary level one. We have nothing currently that gives us um, vampirism. The shovel build will work with this. Shovels into two scythes. Oh, would it actually? How? <laughs> How does this work? So I guess that means the pan now waits for its next friend. But with no vampirism, I'm not quite sure what we do here. Do vampire knives give vampirism? Uh, what's it called? Blade? Dagger? There it is. It does give vampirism on hit to five. So it then gives, I think that the five cap is probably still the same. So you build up your vampirism faster. Sure, let's explore a new item. Let's explore an item with friends. I can't fit it in. <laughs> All right, so this can move to here. That like so. Gems can combine. Uh, luckily, we're under our stamina consumption right now. If we add the pan back in, how far over are we? One point seven. That's too far. We can't afford the dagger. Um, okay, let's see how this goes. 
With no vampirism items, it goes poorly, probably. Oh, I should have the gloves in a different spot. With some clever movement, I could probably have uh, both the scythe and the shovel leveled up. I I don't know how to build. <laughs> I think I may have made a profound mistake by trying to pivot to whatever this is. <laughs> uh, oh, that, that was not too good. That was not too good. I'll never pivot again. Alright, so... So... I had a red gem in the pan. Oh, in the pan, thank you for catching that. Yep, indeed I did. Indeed I did. A random stone digging up with a shovel. So we really needed a dagger or something to give me vampirism. Hello. So with that, we really need a... Vampiric gem. Yeah. How's it go? We're building up our... Well, hey, we were building up our debuffs at the same speed, but she ended up getting quite a bit more than me. I think we win this one, though. Good. Good to good. Yeah, the Glover's not boosting the Scythe, but I don't see a way to move everything right now to boost the Scythe. With this included, I do. To here, and then move this down one. Now, oh, I don't like that. My scythe is taking up my entire coffin, and the coffin is based on items inside. So we want this here instead. Is that doable? Now, bananas are fun. This goes here. I move you to here. Bananas hangs out over here for right now. And waits for additional shovel. Life steal. Keep the coal. That works for the moment. More gems. More gems. The building on bug with all crappy crystal. Okay, maybe I should grab that then. Hmm. Yeah, I first I don't don't know any of the meta builds. What I know is reading things and hoping for the best, <laughs> but <laughs> caves don't work out too terribly well. Caves are problems. So we just need vampirism. None of these give vampirism. More speed is cool, though. This is not vampirism, it's regen. Cat. I don't think that we get any vampirism here. We can afford one more of you. I prefer to have inside of the box there. I think I can look for items that have just vampirism. Here they are. Cat. So, 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 so. Probably transitioning off the shovel to one of these when I see it would be good. We need a tremendous number of blood amulets. Uh, I believe that all of the items that give vampirism require the blood amulet. We want that. So we're definitely taking Nocturnal Lock Lifter. We have to have to have that. Could bananas move to each other so the dagger me the coffin? Bananas next to each other. Smart, smart, smart. Good catch, thank you. That's right, I called you smart. Don't let that go to your head. <laughs> well, that would work too, wouldn't it? 
Dagger's not in coffin, but double bananas. B A N A N A S. I decided we're not gonna stay with shovel. So they have the gloves. Oops. Have the gloves touch both. I need it here right now. If I back the harvester up again, then it's not inside of the coffin, which you want to keep for poison procs. So I think the purse just hangs out. <laughs> when did reroll cost two? So I don't know exactly how it works, but reroll does cost one or two. And I wonder if the more times you roll, it's one or two. Or if instead it's based on um, randomness. This person has damperism. I'm envious. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We have to go Vampress with what we have. Vampress uh, starts with, the, yeah, Vampress starts with um, Vampirism. Also, your healing is amplified. Also, also poison steals. So, our weapons now steal life. If we move down to here, is that right? Okay, all of our weapons are now stealing life. Except, I would like the scythe to be strengthening the lock lifter to gain four bampers instead. That position does that. We have a weird coffin slot now. This gets one proc for the moment. Oh, the big sword. Uh, like I said, no more shovel, only big sword. Great, so even more vampirism now. Um, we want to find a way of generating regen also, if possible. So earlier I refused all the regen items in hopes of finding, yeah, in hopes of finding vampirism instead. I should take some of those regen items probably. What's done is done. Okay, none of the items we have right now combine except for this one. That's a combined they're touching via the hilt and the handle. Sorry, the hilt and the point, rather. This bit feels very awkward there. The lump of coal there. Um, I think the speed of attack is more important than... Yeah, than having one more poison creation. Hawk. I'm going to keep the gloves there. Okay, feels good, feels good, feels good. Um, I would love the sword to move this way, ultimately. But for now, it can stay this way. With nine money left, we could try to corrupt some things. We need to get the corrupted helmet for that, though. If I don't want more gems, don't roll the gem box in the backpack. Oh, definitely. I at least want halfway decent gems to find ones that are um, upgrades here. That said, I think you're indicating if I have no places for upgrades, there's no point in rerolling right now because we get junk like this. Let's see. Okay. I'm going to buy the Crypto Crystal. So, one second. The corrupted armor. This one cleanses debuffs and protects poison. That's not what I want. Then I want the vampirism one. That's what we really need. So corrupted crystal may not be needed. I already bought it though. <laughs> so <laughs> we're gonna put it on this weapon, and then this is more stamina gain. Cool. And friends, another hour's passed. It's time for our ad break. It's 11.15 my time, so 
We have an hour 45 left. We'll take a little pause right here and uh, play ourselves some crossword and then back to the game. Thanks for being here. Appreciate the follows, subscriptions, everything else. It's been a pretty good time so far. Can a brother find a vampiric orb though? Wouldn't that be great? All right, the Hey, or sorry, the Ho Hey Band. Look at letters six through three. So three, but apparently flat is gonna be part of each of these. Maybe, <laughs> assuming that flat is part of that one. Wait, I spelled it wrong. It does not fit if pals is right. I don't know who that is. Uh, email nuisance is surely spam. Uh, really enthusiastic. I don't know, raving? Possibly. Brew pub acronym, maybe the IPA. Tibetan Buddhist title. How about Dalai Lama? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, birds that follow a couple of ducks. Sorry, bird following a couple of ducks. Uh, I see bird, I think Larry Bird. Uh, duck, duck, goose, like a children's game. Eurasian invasion of the 13th and 14th centuries. Letters 7 through 4. I don't know. The Mongol horde, maybe. Islamic spiritual leaders and imam. Empty bottles are... Empty bottles. Empty bottles. Pops. Not sure. Uh, Six-legged insects are ants. So Mongol looks correct. I don't know what they're called as far as invasions go. Like potatoes that aren't worth, worth spreading, uh, fretting over, it's small potatoes. I thought llama had two L's in it. Maybe not, maybe not. Uh, Apple desktops are IMAX, delightful. I've got milk. Wait, when does one ever think I've got milk? Like yum, possibly. <laughs> I don't know what I've got milk even means here. That's strange, it's strange. This band I still don't know what's happening here. Tap dance on the tap. A soft shoe, so raving is incorrect. Good. Uh, waiting for tasks is idle, not far as near. Vera Wang makes gowns. The turn is the seabird with a forked tail. What's this top? Rise of the challenge. Why is the challenge? See, sit up. <laughs> Not sure. Uh, really enthusiastic is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Really enthusiastic. No idea. Um, VW Beetles. VW Beetles are are cars. <laughs> they are hatchbacks. They are very poorly working heaters. Not sure. Uh, annual presidential speech briefly is the State of the Union. Oh, cows think I've got milk. Moo means I have milk. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, I know the mind of the cow. Paid for poke your hand is antied. Uh, leather glove material. Goose leather. Uh, distress signals and SOS. Paprika's dad on Blue's Clues, yeah. Uh, middle blank, Oman's region, Middle East, there we go. Sarcastic words of sympathy. I'm playing the world's tiniest violin for you. I feel your pro, I know what you're going through. Uh, places to relax, there are proper spas. Uh, fellows, um, fellows. With the S that I'm not sure, I mean, what's a plural? of three letters. So like guys, bros, dudes, mans. Oh, men. <laughs> Unusual plurals are strange. Uh, fast food kitchen fu uh, fixtures. How about those like like uh, boiler things? Like deep fat fryers, how about that? Cool. Men, what a word, what a word. Please pause. Good old mans. All right, back to our video, Huego. I guess that's that. Player's card would be desirable. Maybe. Maybe. All right, single resurrection. This poor person has not found a phoenix yet. The scythe, the scythe. Ten vampirism. 
There's our first re uh, only uh, regen. We're gonna win this. We're gonna win this for sure. Cool. Uh, kind of a throw everything together build there. They have no dark items for this to do additional damage or reincarnation. Just getting started though. Okay, what else am I looking for right now? Poison trading items. I don't need mana as of right now. Everything is just about healing, vampirism, poison. The so more poison items could help. Increases speed could help also. I'm gonna try to speed up both of these weapons if I can, which requires this to move up. Nice. This means we could put one more item there for, um... No, we can't. The gloves go there. What am I looking for right now? Vampire orbs. Armor. Armor, armor, armor. Armor, armor, armor. Armor, armor. And we want vampiristic armor especially. That we haven't found any of the vampire orbs yet is concerning me a little bit. To the point that maybe I should go with the basic armor. Another sword. So our stamina use is low. We're only at one. We're only at point seven with two bananas. I could maybe fit another blade in. We have to go here, I believe. No. So it need to be in this spot, this part of this spot. But to get the bonus of Blood Harvester onto our sword here, it needs to be here. I guess what we need to do is get rid of the gloves, have the sword go through the middle here, slowing us down, but giving more overall hungry blading. Or we can just throw it wherever. But we're still not making any regen. So I think making regen is the most important thing currently. Absolutely beautiful amethyst. 16 money, kind of expensive. Uh, as like additional stamina, I'm like, ah, oh, I need another weapon probably. Hey, finally, blueberries go here. Another poison proc chance. And some mana creation. Woo! Woo! <laughs> I'm not sure what to do with that. Uh, okay. We don't see any way to upgrade this currently. I think we're just done for now. And so we'll throw random gems in. Here we go. Five wins, three tries. What is this? A dancing dragon. Dancing dragon, eight damage per second. There's more damage for fire. You have a 200 chance to resist Diva for any kind of luck. Started bad to gain more fire. I've never seen that before. Yeah, we didn't need the stamina sack. So until I buy a, another weapon, we're aptly found stamina. We're actually overproducing stamina by quite a bit. Okay, this makes armor or stamina or luck. None really needed. Ripsaw Blade removes, does not steal regen. A ruby egg is always fun. Just having a suddenly, suddenly dragon helping out. But. I love Vampiric Goobert. I love anything Vampiric. We've yet to see a Vampiric um, orb. Uh, these combine. I appreciate that. How about some proper armor or a vampiric orb? How about a flawless sapphire? 70% chance of ignoring 
armor. Y y yes, I think. A lot of money, though, unfortunately. Oh, we found one. We found one. Now, the player's card would probably help us find more in the future, but next round, at least, we can buy one of those and vampire up. I'm not sure what, but genuinely anything would be amazing. <laughs> Probably the gloves, but finally, 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 finally. Uh, we can't get to nine. We can buy the card. Just while I'm thinking about it, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, fine. You know what? I'm actually going to install it. Because we don't need stamina generation right now. That will let our first roll be buffed. Double Goobert. Double Goobert, what, what, what? And the Ripsaw here does take my, my regen, so that's not ideal. They can never steal my vampirism! Uh, interesting question would be, do they get to 40 or to 80? Never mind. Interesting question is we just die. <laughs> so I was going to say, um, do they get to 40 or 80 heat for the big buffs off the uh, friendly fire? But uh, Steel Goober was getting more and more weapon. Uh, attack to the Ripsaw Blade, and that just put out some real damage, and that was that. Okay. So, everybody wants to be vampiristic. I'm gonna use the gloves. One second. The dagger gives additional vampirism, I believe. The gloves do not. But the dagger gets a bonus, for touching other vampire items. So, we would end up wanting to put the dagger here, so it got the further bonus from the harvester and also touching more vampiristic items. Or it can go here and get both and also touch more vampire. Whichever way, I'm gonna upgrade the vampire weapon. Now we're able to combine these. I'm not sure I care to, but we'll see. The Demonic Flask, when the opponent hits 50 health, um, all of our debuffs fire for some damage. Um, it's not a huge amount, but that could be kind of cool anyway. Let's say we don't yet have a uh, potion belt, but now we do. Then this would like to consume the carpet crystal, and we do want that. But there's not a way to do that this turn, I don't believe. Okay, it's all the rerolling for now. Let's go. <laughs> it's me, but more vampire y. Also, the tarot deck. Look at it go. Look at it go. Ah, no more going. Now it's simply a matter of who puts out more overall damage. We're through their armor, thank goodness. More armor, what? <laughs> uh, so every time this armor goes, right, 2.88 seconds, they get more armor back. Luckily, we're three times the poison they are, so we will win this. Ah, fancy armor. Or is that leather armor? Wait, is that just leather armor plus vampiric orb? I've made it before, so let's look it up and see. It is leather armor! <gasps> I've been looking for the wrong armor the whole time. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. The consequences of my ignorance return once more. Oh, uh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. What is good, though, is... Move it like that. Or the question of do we want additional life steal, or do we want um, an item to be able to go... Yeah, do more life steal, or do we want more straight healing? So four more per attack every one point, every three seconds, versus... Versus what? 
versus the possibility of more poison. I'll take the poison. The blueberry is now kind of useless there. It's better here. Okay. What to do with gloves? I can use the gloves to at least increase the speed on the scythe. That said, they should not be using that kind of bag for doing so. So... This can move to that side. This... replaces... I had an idea. What was my idea? My idea is move everything up a little bit. Down a little bit here. So now the scythe and the dagger are both faster now. If I move the dagger down to here, then the um, lock lifter does not give life steal to the sword here. That's the trade-off I was mentioning before, is do I prefer to have a little bit more healing? Or to prefer to have um, the life steal on this weapon. A trade, a trade, a trade. Okay. So even more speed, awesome. Then, like I said, put this here to increase the speed on the scythe at least. And then more mushrooms, more good possibly. Okay, the potion here, we take one poison while they take three. If we upgrade this with the agaric, they instead take seven while they take two. I'm gonna skip that. Potion bag, we get one extra buff for that firing then. This is not the armor I need. We can combine these two. We could get another basic gloves, just to speed up the uh, scythe even more. Okay. We have a bunch of gems we can sell. I'd like to try to combine the lifesteal ones at least. We still have no stamina problems, I'm going to sell the yellows. We're not going to roll again though, so... We don't need mana, so the blueberry is not needed right now. I think that's that. Seven wins! Can we get a few more? Uh, this is delightful stun. They're fine on stamina. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. We're do I think we're going to win this. They have one more health push for us to get through. I now have doubts. Oh, I believe again. I believe again. Life still, please. Life still, please. Life still, please. <laughs> yeah, the repeated healing there, the big armor on the battle rage. I had some serious doubts, but it worked out. Uh, this character right here is Nani. What, what, what? Nani? Okay, so now we do even more damage when the opponent's at 50 health. And also, uh, they heal us effectively. I'm going to add a second one of those for sure. Uh, while I like more armor, it's not essential. Another dagger could be pretty cool. It's the free damage. How about a vampiric orb? How about a vampir? Would you mind a vampiric orb? <laughs> We've only seen the one. Oh, unfortunate. Uh, might buy this mushroom. The mushroom might be better than the dagger, actually. Um, I think it is. I probably should have kept the dagger and sold my blueberry and such instead, but that's not for now. <laughs> Double resurrection. We have that mana generation also. 
the items they actually have are not particularly good, other than the resurrection. We're gonna win this one fairly easily. Um, I'm, I'm not quite sure what they're going for, but it's not quite there yet. One more win. Hey, it's the armor I've been looking for for a very, very long time. All right, so if I want this armor, it's gonna go here. Or a moment, wanna reroll. How about Vimpric Orb? Um, we get additional speed. We could throw, can we throw our speed in here? Yeah, we could throw one more speed onto our weapon there. Seems worth doing. So everything goes down by one. Oh, maybe we can't. Yes, we can. We can. Um, I'd like to actually move these both up. So have less speed on the red sword, but more on the scythe. Good. Possibly good. Is good? Is good. I have four fanny packs. Oh, thank you. There's no one there also. Completely missed that one. Yeah, it's definitely better for even more speed and also speed on the red sword again. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, blueberry. For the blueberry for another... Well, it's not in the poison chance area, sorry. It's... I'd like this amethyst here to reduce healing on the enemy. We can upgrade these. And I have one open gem slot. Yeah, I do have another fanny pack. So when you mentioned the extra fanny pack, I thought it was right here. This one is intentional. That said, we're still not overspending stamina, so all this really does is heal us, which is not terrible. I'd sell them for a... I'd sell anything for Vampire Orb, honestly. Getting only one for this build has been a little unfortunate. Oh boy, here come some crits. There's one stun. Just keep building the debuffs. Oh, good lord. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the crits, folks. You like the crits? Hope you like the crits. Yeah, so the aim of this thing is to get the kill before your stamina runs out. We got through their stamina, but that's no good. A! A and orb! A and orb! Okay, cool. Um, definitely armor is needed right now, so I'll absolutely take that every day of the week. Is it better than mushrooms in the coffin? Um, then what, I think is the question. Like, then the sword, possibly? Except for the sword um, needs to have the buffs on the various other vampire items. To be one of these, like, complete remake builds, or complete remakes, and I'm not willing to do that right now, at this late stage in the match. Then the bananas, um, I, I think it's the same, right? The the coffin just says any item inside is a 25% chance to inflict one poison. And so the bananas, because they're sped up, I prefer to have there. Like if the fly agaric said, okay, we're gonna give you additional poison for being in there, then sure. But I think it's about the same there. IMO. Uh, it was possibly our last round here, so we're gonna spin down. A little more armor. A little more armor than I could. Possibly additional speed. If I want additional speed, where would it go? I mean, this sword would be pretty cool. We'd be giving up one poison for additional sword. I think this build might be confusing to me. Like, I'm not exactly sure if it's pulling in two directions. It feels like, you know, vampire attacking is the primary mode, and then the 
poison just like a nice additive if possible. Up, up. Will our last try here be the end of us? Uh, they're vampire also. Um, they only have one item in the coffin, so they're going really hard and just doing damage. I'm not sure what this build is. I don't mean to be rude, but I'm not sure what that build is, other than isn't it nice making the noise of stamina out? Uh, if we take the win, we get to uh, plus 16, so we get to 80s. If we just keep going, 23. If we win every match from here on out, we do not get gold. What do the potions do on their side, or my side? So my potions, when the enemy hits 50% health, um, all of our debuffs proc and do cause them damage and also slow their healing. So it's just a, we have debuffs, it does some damage. Um, if we had even more debuff stacking, it would go better, but we're awkwardly between vampire and poison creation. So that's where we are. I gotta keep trying. We're not gonna get gold with this character today, unfortunately, but vampire armor, cool, cool, cool. So ideally we want the vampire armor to be affected also by the blood harvester. That is not gonna happen. I'm almost certain without moving everything else out. So I think it just hangs out up there. Okay. Every three seconds we eat health to get more armor. That is what we want. We can get another mushroom back in soon. Um, we could go for the dark saber, um, which I've never actually built. You have 25 damage for each debuff on your opponent, so that really stacks with poison. Uh, use one mana to also cause blinds. Now this is 0.8 stamina. We'd be over by a fair amount, but that might be better than a hungry blade. If put the armor where the bananas are. It wouldn't be affected by the blood harvester there. It would go faster for its health into armor, but I don't think that's a great call right now. I might be wrong, but I think I prefer the way it is right now. Uh, we're currently looking for either Corrupted Crystals or for um, I mean bags, sure. Hello to you flawless topaz. Just stack even faster. I think I like how that's set up right now. So we'd go on to my dagger. And if that happens, we can't afford the lightsaber. Just more mushrooms. Everybody loves mushrooms. That faster attacking will also cause... Um, yeah, that faster attacking will also cause more procking on poison, possibly. Do I sell this green gem? So I'm thinking, hey, we need to sell to get the other poison mushroom. Um, or we socket these. Well, healing reduced, absolutely. What does green potion do? So it causes the enemy to get three poison and you to get one poison. Um, you can upgrade it with the fly agric. I think gemming the armor is more important than anything else right now. We have two tries left. So I was thinking initially I could sell my player's card to buy that mushroom. Right now though, I think I'm okay. <laughs> my tea is out. All right, let's avoid some crits, can't we? They have two armors, so they get so much armor when they're at the uh, battle rage. Now, 
That's 50 damage, unfortunate. We are overhealing sufficiently right now. Have they battle rage? I actually missed that part. I believe they battle rage already. No, they didn't. If that's their battle rage, we're gonna die. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's kind of how it goes. Kind of goes. Uh, rank up per match goes down in higher divisions. In diamond, you get plus six at ten wins. Wow, that's mean. That's so mean. I can't imagine. Hey, it's Vampiric Orb. Hey, it's Vampiric Orb. Cool. Sorry for no Blood Goobert. Some part of me believe we get a Blood Goobert this playthrough. It's just not happening. If we can get two regular Sapphires, we can upgrade the Flawless Sapphire to a Perfect Sapphire. And then we go through armor always on the Scythe. So I guess we buy this. And now they stack 70 plus 50. I don't think it's added, I think it's multiplicative. So I don't quite know how those fit together, but more speed, more speed, more armor avoidance. There's probably no point in rolling, except a little bit more armor than all I ever want. Probably our final round here. Triple Goobert, very fast attacking. Uh, the nice thing here is because we have lifesteal and the conversion to more and more armor, we should be able to hold off the endless stabbing, or perhaps not. Oh, we're missing. Oh, we're missing. That was the issue there. That was the issue there. So, yeah, we ended up with uh, 12 by 5 blind, and we just missed a lot. We pretty have done no damage to them. Now, again, that may have been the glowing crowns. I'm not sure. We ended up with 10 wins, uh, so we didn't get anything more after completing our initial part. Nonetheless, plus eight. Could have gotten plus 16, I believe. Pretty, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good, I'm gonna say. All right, there's one character we've not yet played as today, and that's our little three gold ranger there. Yeah, let me, let me comment on the Reaper briefly. Um, the Reaper play we just did, I got kind of awkwardly stuck between two builds and couldn't quite remember what I was doing to repair either of them. <laughs> so like, eh, we're going Vampers now apparently, and that just did not work because I couldn't get sufficient regen to keep it keep it chugging along long term. I think a second armor would have helped a whole bunch, but all right. Your favorite ranger build is the pet build. I have tried the pet build once. I did not play it correctly. All right, ranger, here we go. Some part of me is crying out for hammer build. We'll see if that happens. I see a dagger, though. I love a dagger. Uh, Not going to go gems. Not going to go gems. Not going to go gems. I should have taken the healing item there. Totally forgot to do so. We will need a banana eventually, so maybe we'll get it on sale. Pig for luck. Okay, the stone is not a... The stone is not an on start build. What's Ranger Container do? Uh, it gives a bonus to crit chance for any luck you have. And you build luck with the Lucky Clovers and a few other ways. But daggers, daggers, daggers for the Joyful Hammer build, possibly. Okay. Alright, we have slightly more health. We do not have any healing. First name is UPHD. That's right, I am a PhD. This guy knows it. UPHD. Round one, good to go. Um, Early armor is pretty amazing. We'd have to give up something to make the early armor work. We don't need the banana right now. Cool. We can bring back the banana. <laughs> 
Uh, the damage is just given as healing, but that's okay. Whole bunch of damage here. But like I said, armor early game is definitive. Armor early game is definitive, he says, then loses. <laughs> no! <laughs> uh, darn you, broom! Darn you, broom! It's fine. Uh, this is a way of getting luck. This is a way of getting luck for sure. Um, I won't be able to use that and the hammer. Now that said, if I can't find the hammer very soon, we're not doing a hammer build. So I'm going to take the short bow with a mind to possibly... Yeah, with a mind to possibly be able to make uh, piggies and luck and so on. What's on for sword? Do you really want me going for the cross sword? Is that what you really, really want? This is keeping our options open, I guess, but... I don't know, friends. I just don't know, friends. Friends, I just don't know. Let's see how this works. Okay. Oh, our pig's in the wrong spot. Our pig did not do anything here. We should have um, flipped the pig in the armor. It's okay. Good. Good, good. So the carrot, if we can get our luck high enough, helps a ton. Um, important part of science is can we get our luck high enough? It's on sale blood amulet. Why don't we care about on sale blood amulets? Uh, all right. So, 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 so. I think I'm preferring vampiric dagger over armor. That might be false. Let's see. Yeah, I cannot eat into my own health at this point. So we're going to go bloody dagger. And... That's leaning in direction of hammer build. Let's see. Two swords, one weapon stone. I believe we win this. And our stamina looks good overall. Once the swords are upgrading, I'm not sure if that's true. I believe the higher tier swords require uh, more stamina than lower tier ones. Three wins, one loss. Hello, Goobert. There's no lucky Goobert, unfortunately. Like, I, I think the carrot Goobert works okay with. Yeah, so cleanse debuff and gain two more empowerment for four seconds. So your weapons do even more damage. Um, it doesn't stack that far, though, because only for four seconds, not permanently. So I think this is, if you want to get very early maximum crit, this works pretty well. Unless we get some more luck soon, we're not getting there at all. We're going to buy this. This is making me look like we're getting the treats build for the animals. And the pig continues to do nothing. So like I said, move this to here. The pig can give us four more health. But then we're not using this. Okay. That plays me give us four health. How many more rounds do I give myself a chance at the hammer before I abandon this foolish, foolish, foolish job? <laughs> Looks like we're going crossbow and swords, I do believe. It's Carrot Goobert! Yep. 
No luck, Harry Gubert. No luck. Upgrade sword. Hooray. So now the sword gives a buff to all the other weapons. We, if we want to go more carrots, we just need to get more luck. I'll continue to build two builds at once. One thing I don't know as a player yet is when to hold out for uh, sales and when to accept items when they're sold at the top value. That nine money for that vampiric dagger is very nice. Shift the dagger to get the hero buff. Oh, good call. It throws in all directions, so it just should be down by one. You're absolutely right. Hooray! I didn't even watch that fight. I was just being delighted in seeing how it's all going. More daggers! <laughs> if we end up with a hundred daggers and do not get a, um, do not get a hammer, I'm gonna be so, so displeased. <laughs> uh, we need to sell for two. Goodbye, piggy bank. You've served us well. A uh, banana for speed for healing is probably preferable here. Yeah, Vampire of the Next Shadow is actually absolutely correct. Thank you for catching that. How to do this and get the sword bonus also? That'll do it. Everyone gets bonuses. Hooray! So I think I'm saying we're not going to luck build now. And that trip passed by that um that bow. That bow might actually be used also for the, um, for the cross swords. Ah, oh, that's pretty rough. That's pretty rough. That's a very fast attacking, fancy, fancy sword that can gain luck on its own also. Unfortunate. That's fine. Run into elite items early, that's how it goes. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, with where we are right now, we are trusting we're going to find a hammer, Winky Face. Hunter is the hammer item. Hunter would also like additional lucky items, especially lucky piggies. It's on sale, so I'd probably go with that. Now, the Poison Ivy resists debuffs for nature items. The food is nature. If you can put 19 poison on the opponent, they take 20 damage. We need to be building spikes, we're not building spikes. So we're going a hunter. We could upgrade our bow right now with the two lucky clovers. Um, I don't believe we want to do that. I need the pig instead for piercing arrow. So looking for pig, looking for hammer. Looking for pig, looking for hammer. Looking for vampirism. Looking for vampirism. Looking for vampirism. Looking for hammer. Looking, looking, looking for many, many, many things. Time to what we have now. So what Piercing Arrow does is additional critical chance uh, on weapons. Um, also, you gain more luck. So I do want weapons in all of the stars. We're very close on that. Um, Moving a dagger down would help. A bow is fine also. For now, it's not great, but it'll work. 
Time for more daggers. I mean, these two items I'd love to have. Absolutely love both of them. But, but, but the hammer is just not going to work. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe uh, the rarer part of the build I was creating, I should have gotten before I leaned into Hammer. Um, we haven't seen Westones in a long time, so we're not going to be able to upgrade that sword. Uh, someone yesterday, the day before, mentioned there's a particular build in cards, like card games, uh, competitive card games. They just throw a lot of good stuff together and hope for the best. This is what we're doing right now, unfortunately. Okay, so even more vampire, even more fun. I do not like having the bow here at all. It's just not great. Hammer. More vampire. I don't know a, a vampire build for, for the ranger. That's not so there isn't one. So we could go from the bow to the blade. We'll then have some stamina problems, but it's a more appropriate weapon to use than the bow. I believe. Sword plus whip makes a weapon? Oh, interesting. I don't know the whips. I think I've used one whip one time and just stam it out over and over again. Is this thing? The thorn whip. The chain whip. The flame whip. As soon as the thorn whip. So on hit, gain a spike. I'm not building spikes, unfortunately. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Oh, it's a sword. A sword, okay. Is it called sword? <laughs> this thing? Villain sword, that's not it. Um, is it called a blade, possibly? Is it a poker? Is it a bloodthorn? Oh, I've seen bloodthorn. I've never made it, but I have seen bloodthorn. So on hit, use regen to gain vampire and spike. Does more damage for spike and vampire. Again, we have a building spike then. Where's a vampiric weapon? Guess we can try it. How do you fit in here? You don't really do you. Okay, forward one it will. No, it won't. Okay. Uh uh, video game. <laughs> so drop one dagger for right now, possibly. Or move this. Move this. At least the dagger's back. Our stamina is very high, though. So, we don't have a banana running. And we're currently running 2.1 stamina per second. Uh, <laughs> uh, getting the banana back would help a little bit. I believe we still just lose all of this. So I think we dump the sword. Like, I, I'm probably gonna lose this fight regardless, and that, that's okay. Like, it's definitely not ideal, but it's okay at least. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, this is an intentional loss for the sake of the good. Look at all that space for dragons. This person's totally set for the dragon build. They just need, you know, some dragons. So because they have all these bags, I believe I win. Cool. Very cool indeed. Ah, uh, we have the Bloodthorn weapon now. And again, how do you work? We need to find regen to gain vampirism. We'd like to start gaining spikes also. So we're no longer hammer build, I don't think. If I find one, I won't go for it. So we need things that cause regen. We can now add our sword back in again also. Gain 
this position. The sword's only hitting one of the possible weapons. Here it's now hitting two, but it's not hitting the big sword. So I think it's better to hit the big sword than anything else. Okay, we do have another speed item here, so we can move that over. Speed up y'all. I'd like to get more daggers inside the fanny pack. Um, but to have Vampiric touching, it's a little harder. If we have that, we don't have a weapon on the dagger. Okay, that's right for the piercing arrow now. This position is better, even though it's slower, to get additional lifesteal. Okay, um, so I'm looking for what now? I'm looking for things that cause regen. The Holy Armor does that. It's expensive, unfortunately. Hello. Now, I wouldn't mind having both the Vampiric Armor and the Holy Armor. I'm a vampire for the Lord. <laughs> I'm not going for Holy Build. I mean, the reason I want the Holy Build is so we gain that regen so that we gain the Bloodthorn's ability to burn regen to gain more the teeth, the teeth. But maybe I don't want that. We'll figure it out. This will work out for sure. Here we go. <laughs> Alright, I see a lightsaber. I see some various goober tees working together. I see not a lot of firing of the poison. Uh, we are getting a really nice bonus on uh, Vampirism at least, up to 14 there. We did have stamina problems, so we'd like to fix that eventually. Cool. Um, move this like so... Then more weapons touch the vampiric armor. How dare you, video game? The round after which I say I'm abandoning the hammer build, the hammer finally shows up. Do recall, do recall, we've had um, opposition with the hammer in the very first fight. <laughs> we just got so unlucky not to see it until now. I'm not pivoting back. Uh, we don't have much luck, so... More character, more luck, not so good. The Vampiric Armor, every three seconds, burns health to give armor. That could end up killing us, so... <laughs> as much as I do, kind of, sort of, want to take it. But we'll fit it in somewhere. And we'll see if we end up burning off our health too fast. Awesome. More vampirism. Also lucky pig now. I can afford both of them. Almost. Okay, lucky piggy. Wait, why don't lucky piggy? Right. The piercing arrow, lucky piggy, to get the chance of more luck on the piercing arrow. They'll then help us speed up on luck, which we can probably use for something eventually. Now, more vampirism is nice, but it wouldn't combine to anything right now. I'm going to reserve it. Um, gonna buy the whetstone. And next turn we'll put it onto the hero sword. Okay. Fine. 
Nana is fun. They have the Deerwood Guardian. So they heal tremendously when they're battle raging. We do not have enough stamina for this build. Luckily the daggers keep attacking. All I got is the one saving grace here. And we are healing up as we do our vampiric armor. So we're not overspending our health, which is very, very nice. Please end battle rage. Please end battle rage. Please end battle rage. <laughs> All right, that was 176 health versus 452. Excalibur, Excalibur, Excalibur. Food just keeps popping all the time. I've never made that. Maybe I'll try some other time. All right, so I give you Lucky Piggy. Now, Lucky Piggy only fires once, so we're losing... We're losing a 4% chance to gain luck in order to give 15% overall chance to gain luck on the other items. I think that's okay. Pure vampirism, we love it. Hey Sage! Yeah, the very opening of stream today. Uh, before I even said hello, Cyber Oracle gave you a three month gift sub, Sage. Cyber Oracle was all about that for you. I want to welcome you to the community. The bag will be useful eventually. Um, but not right now. <laughs> when when last, uh, last match, I struggled so much to find any <laughs> Vimpric Orbs, and now we're getting them constantly. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. All right, we can move a carrot down to help we... No, we can't move to help the banana, can we? Don't see a way to do much here. Also, the Bloodthorn does not care how many vampire items it's touching. So... This would be better, but this only procs one time. So the Piercing Arrow wouldn't get additional luck. Yep. Yeah. Let's let it run. This is be stripping all of our regen. We have a regen. Let's see how it goes. Again, stamina. Need the bananas. Need the bananas. Should have bought more bananas early game. Actually, I think we're finally a build that I've been surprised with before. We're a build that overspends our stamina, but gets them so far down the process. That's good. I might undervalue bags. It's really possible. It's really possible. Look, more bags. <laughs> Look, more vampirism. Hooray! And that vampirism can go into this armor. So sell one thing. Okay, how do we do this now? The banana can move over. Part slightly awkward. And I absolutely need the banana to go back in. If we move this down, we can then move the other armor over, I believe. And I'll give enough space for the carrot to come out and the banana to go back in. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, if I move this thing over and this thing over, that will work. It does split my vampiristic items off in a way I don't exactly like. Well, okay. Friends, time for an ad break. Got three minutes of ads. Last ad break of the day, I do believe. I gotta go teach in about an hour or so. Let's see if we can finish out the ad break. Right? Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Three minutes of ads starting right about now. It's been nice hanging out with you today. Lovely day. Learning more about this game. See you in uh, three minutes. Cat. Okay. 
So, chills or a theme hint? So the theme hint has been flat backwards. In this theme, it's letters seven through four backwards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So C, L, O, G, clog. So flat clog with chills, flat and clog. These are both um, like inconveniences. Your toilet clogs up, your tire goes flat. You'd often call like a repair person to help you. Not sure, not sure. Uh, connects deeply, connects deeply. No. Online sales. Is it e-tail? We hate e-tail. Uh, X in a sorority name. It's Kai. Uh, word of admission. Come in. Welcome. Uh, beefy. Uh, beefy can mean, you know, made out of beef or also strong. Uh, like chili usually. Hot, hot, hot. Salty drop. Salty drop. Probably like ta uh, taffy? Not sure. All right. Nothing. Z z zero. <laughs> Zip. Zorro, sky blue, sky blue. Why is there a T here? There's no reason for that T to be there. Azure, well, not Azure. Is Zaps right for microwaves? It's like it should be. Rise the challenge. So step up feels plausible, which means that treats for dog food is incorrect. So step up, nothing that is Zilch, possibly? And as your maybe. Ah, Bizet wrote Carmen. I should remember that for sure. Uh, escape the clutches of his elude. A uh, scrap throw the dog eats. And the hey ho band is the Lumineers. The Lumineers. I know them. All right. Spaghetti sauce brand is Ragu. Diana of the Supremes is Ross. Uh, on the subject of is as two. A big name in little trucks. Not sure. The really enthusiastic is Raw Raw Raw. So probably Hess. Ah, the invasions of Europe are the Mongolian conquests. There you go. Uh, empty bottles. Empty bottles. Oh, poor. Empty as a um, verb, not an uh, adjective. All right, leather glove material. Something skin, goat skin is what you wear for leather glove, your driving glove, of course. Uh, setting for the 2021 Norwegian film, The Worst Person in the World. Is this Oslo? That's pretty lame, uh, pretty lame suggestion for Oslo. Uh, feature of the Great Pyramid. I don't know. Paprika's dad on Blue's Clues. Probably his salt of the Tumba. Good old Tumba there. Icy dessert to the sorbet. Uh, you have to taste this. Try some it. Uh, my job is, dot 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 is just beach. Kenda's beach. Uh, large dried pepper is an ancho. Uh, Melson person is a yenta. Menu selection is um, order. Letters from the Cold War, USSR. I'm just going to finish this. The ads are over. We'll fix it, though. Uh, distorted is Q, skew. Uh, crux is the point, the nib. Children theme hint. Kicks back. Why is flat and clog a kickback? I don't like it very much. Uh, Trisilbach berries a sai berry. Beefy. Beefy, beefy, not sure. A uh, sneaky is sly. Oh, kicks backwards is in shoes. I have no idea. <laughs> hey, how's it going today, uh, Gerald Lee? Welcome my friend, Gerald Lee. Salty drop is a tear. Deeply connects is bonds. Word of mission is enter. Join me. It's just this thing here. So crux or beefy.
whiny? Whiny? Oh, like whiny meaning have a... Whiny like have a, a beef with someone. I don't like that one. Any or done. Oh, clogs. I was thinking of clogs as like clogs in the plumbing. Yeah, clogs are kind of shoe. Good call, thank you. All right, here we go. Not sure about build, but here is the build. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Life steal, life steal, life steal versus cold. All right, as we get colder and colder and colder, already at 13 cold. Already at 30 cold. <laughs> Our attack when you get so slow. It uh, does fix the stamina issues, but uh, it might have problems with lifesteal. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep, the way you stop a lifesteal build is just stop being able to attack at all. 36. All items trigger 2% slower, so you can do the math there. 80% slower, so that's 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 not so good. That's not so good. That said, we have even more armor. We're now burning 20 health into 40 armor every three seconds. So that's that's pretty cool. That's a lot of uh, a lot of damage done. We like it a lot. Uh. Okay, I guess I'm gonna leave that there. I'm looking for bananas, ideally, or just flat stamina is fine too. I guess I'm gonna go with the stamina bonus just in case. Okay, I believe that's just that. Carrot goes here. Could buy the coal just to have something in a slot. Possibly bonus one damage. If I lose by about five damage, I wish I had purchased that. For now, though, I'm okay. Okay, this is a uh, shaman build. So a lot of their uh, bonuses come from, do they have slotted items? And indeed they do. I've only managed to avoid crits, we should be okay. That said, we begin with 200 armor. They have to eat through all of that. They've already battle raged, so we should be... No crits, please, no crits. For the love of God, please, no crits. <laughs> I, I think we're okay, but it really depends on do we get crew with that giant axe. We didn't, thank goodness. We didn't too many times. Hooray! Alright, we get plus 14 or up to plus 22. Got four more rounds to survive. Let's do it, let's do it. Cheap bag. I love cheap bags. Uh, the crown requires mana. We're not building mana on this thing at all, so no vulnerability for us. Uh, it would heal for five every few seconds. That's not a lot, but it would add up. I'm gonna skip that. Hello, pig. Is there a reason I wanted a pig a long time ago? I think I want additional pigs. Try to have additional luck on my piercing arrow to build additional luck. We don't need mana for anything. Is it finally time for the Wolpertinger? So more stamina regeneration. Also, build up our smaller buffs more quickly. It'd be our only pet, but I'm thinking maybe yes. Okay, Acorn Collar would increase crit on anything next to it. Increase crit on all three of these. I'm gonna take that. Which means no big buddy there. Speaking of knives, speaking of more knives. All right, um, I am considering getting this healing herb next time, uh, just because it would give me two regen for this sword to consume to gain additional vampirism. We have three possible losses to survive four rounds. This is the giant crit of me. Oh, no, 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 let me pause this. This is the build that is the most amazing thing. I've considered trying it, but just look at this. If you get seven armor, seven luck, seven spikes, seven mana, and 27 health, this sword gets plus 27 damage every single time. And so the aim of this thing is to build up as much uh, of all of those possible, they're getting spikes from here, they're getting 
mana from the one mana crystal, they are getting armor off the shield one time. These give armor and luck. So armor luck keep building. These give spikes. This gives mana. So mana is the weak point right now. But if they get any of these to fire, we just explode. <laughs> so <laughs> I expect to lose this. We'll see what happens. Again, mana is the weak point, though. They're at seven now. It gets consumed. They're at seven now. It gets consumed. Ah! <laughs> it's a build I find impressive. Like, if you can pull it off, if you find the lamps and the flutes, you're a better person than I am. It's a build I'd like to learn, but we got fairly close to beating it. Just need a little bit more time. Uh, more daggers, more good. Put it here. We don't get the bonus to additional healing. We do get two more damage. I think I'm okay with that. I prefer the sword bonus. Yeah. Okay. More stamina. A lot of bags. As I mentioned, I should have bought this right away just to give the additional time bit of healing. It's really late for the card. We have a lot of open space on me as well. And the carrot, we're not building luck. So, we are building luck, I apologize. We are building luck off Piercing Arrow. So, anything that uses luck to get in power is huge. I should have caught that earlier. Okay. I'm going to move the carrot down here. And the reason for that is we'll get a further bonus. Or, yeah, it's like this, actually. So, further bonus of both the banana and the carrot firing. More carrots, more good. All right, do we get stunned? Do they get invulnerability? What happens here? They're currently saving up for 10. They got it now, so she's now invulnerable for two seconds. That's now over. So no more invulnerability. She is building up additional damage on the, um, damage on the hammer. It didn't work out. So because she doesn't have spikes on this, yeah, no spikes, and so the lamp would never actually fire. It gives nice things. It, she, it builds spikes itself, but it never got to the seven it needed. So this is a, a less strong version of what the um, hunter was running a moment ago. Okay. Uh, just more healing is cool. If I just more healing, that's fine. If I... Do I have a way to rotate this? We can do one of these and affect both the banana as well as everything else. Nice. Because we are dumping stamina often, I kind of like to take that to the point that I'm going to sell. Keep my luck. Sell that. More stamina possibilities. I should also move this over here. But they affect each other. Oh boy. <laughs> so, uh, we both start with a tremendous amount of armor. Uh, we're through theirs. Ours is going to continue building up. They're going to have one more burst of armor when they hit Battle Rage. We're about to start firing our, at our first uh, stamina regain. They've just hit Battle Rage now. We die. We die. We definitely die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... I think the higher in ranking I go, the more I'm seeing people stack multiple armors. So we're here, I built up like quite a bit of damage dealing. I have some armor, but not nearly as much as they do. I must survive one more round. So wouldn't it be great to get a win? Uh, we could increase our crit rate a little bit more. I ideally would want that on the Blood Sword, Blood Thorn. But 
I don't see a place to put that that also affects other weapons as well. Let's move the banana over. That would do it. Okay. We can't reroll and also get the boots. So I'm just going to buy the boots. We might get something better with a reroll, but here we go. One last battle. A lot of poison being built up here. Their lightsaber isn't doing too much. It's going to be close. Cool. We got 71 um, crit at the end there. So there you go. We survived. We got 12 wins. Quite a few losses, but plus 18. The gradual, slow growth of gold. More, more, more. All right. So the one non-gold... It's just the Reaper. I don't feel like playing the Reaper. We have time for one more round, friends. One final round to go today. Uh, I think I want to try the Berserker and get a giant weapon. All I want in my life is a giant weapon. So the build I prefer to build is uh, crafted into Blacksmith into weapon. We could play puppies. We could play puppies. We'll see what we get. So I like healing. I like healing. I like possibly sword if we're only we're on sale. Okay, we can afford spike and this as well. Uh, gem bag early works into a lot of builds, so looking for gems. Oh, banana should have been inside the bag. I think I'm gonna say if we lose banana and bag would have saved us. I don't need to say that, thank goodness. Okay, uh, wasn't really thinking of going sword. Maybe we will. Shield combines into a stamina drain. At this point, I don't mind that at all. This is not a stamina neutral build on our side. So if we survive their initial onslaught, we'll be fine. Good. Good, good. Hooray! Big spikes, big spikes. Chance to remove stamina from them. I like it. I like it. Uh, okay. So I'm not going to undervalue bags this time. Instead, I'm going to have another banana placement, maybe. Is that doable? I don't think I can get another banana in here right now. Let's move the hammer out. I think I prefer more maintaining... Well, mm, that's awful. I just don't care that much, actually. I think we'll be okay long term. We just need to accept less than maximum stamina production. Cool. Uh, we see no craftable so far. That is not ideal. That's craftable. I can afford it right now. Amazing. So no bananas inside the bag, but our first craftable item. Cool. Could buy coal early on also. If we end up going blacksmith, we have fire to make burning coals at least. We have way too much stamina. This armor upgrades also, so another upgraded item. Okay, um, if I want this, I need more bag space. I can get bag space via selling a banana. Or maybe just moving things around. Okay, I'll need to have two more money. Selling whetstone? 
If we sell Whetstone, we're admitting we're not going to have Hero Sword. I think that's okay. I've made my admission. Is there a way to make these work correctly together? There is. Now, I do look at the sword here to help it speed up. But I think that's what we can do right now. That's all right. Yeah. Goobert! Cursed Goobert! This is a battle where only fatigue will determine the winner. We're both just healing a little too quickly. And you got stamina problems, so. The so battle rage. He has stamina problems still. It doesn't matter, does he kill me during the uh, battle rage? Yeah. Oh, he almost did! With two health left, a big win for us. Uh, two crafted. I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, we do have another whetstone here. It's not on sale, though, so I'm gonna skip out on that. Ah, the gems. Ah, the gems. Ah, the gems. In the end, as long as I have one point left, it counts as a win. That's what I care about. <laughs> uh, there's absolutely no reason to have my gloves inside of the bag. Like, that is just poor play through and through. But... Uh, bananas are sped up at least. The shield is crafted also. Good call. The shield is crafted. Absolutely. Uh, we begin with our time of gems. Would not mind finding the buster sword. Would not mind finding uh, the giant axes. This person's attacking very quickly. They have a whole bunch of armor, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> will we get through their armor? No, we will not. <laughs> Uh, we had a number of good wins there. That was not one of them. Oof, 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 oof. <laughs> uh, first gem is blue gem. Blue gem is get through armor eventually. Uh, yellow gem helps with stamina. Sure, why not? Uh, we need a better weapon, clearly. That's the issue here. Longer battle rage I do like, but it's a lot of money while we're looking for weapons. Hello, Goobert. It's good to see you. I really need a bigger weapon. Like, really and sincerely, how about a bigger weapon? Oh, is it time for this? Is this what it's come to? I think this might be what it's come to. It's not the biggest weapon. It would work for right now, at least. Um, I need to sell one gem to get there. And probably our sword also. Oh, okay, here's the part where we yell behold a lot first hammer run of the day. So... This may not be the best layout, but it will work for the moment. And then we move this to here, banana in. Move this over. Like so. Awkward. Hmm. Unfortunately, because of the look of the hammer, I guess we can do that for now. And then banana goes like so. We're giving up on shield, for the moment at least. And ideally, hammer like that might be best. Because that way it takes up the least space inside the bag. Not sure about shield. I 
think that works. I think that works. No stun. The remainder of this game is now do we stun or do we not stun? We miss. We miss. We miss. What do you mean we miss? <laughs> Oh no, hammer. Oh no, hammer. <laughs> Please, hammer, do hurt them. <laughs> uh, hammer is weakest against uh, that kind of character with the, the poison fawn, so. A slight shame that. Oh, yeah, I definitely agree we have no damage right now. Uh, possibly. Possibly we need another weapon in here. Possibly we need um, to go in from the hammer and go for the giant axe instead. If only we see it. Only if only. Cheese. Early cheese. No place to put it. But early cheese anyway. Okay, we can upgrade that yellow. Helps attack faster. Hey Vera, backpack bell is going pretty well. Thank you for asking. Definitely enjoying myself. It's last day though, don't you worry. Play other games soon. Soon with the other games. Yeah. I haven't removed a bit. Oh, you, you such and so. Look at that sword or axe, rather. Why do you get the nice things, Mom? This person got the nice things. What do I get? Oh, they've gotten two axes already. Oh. May I should stay with the hero sword. All right, the items on sale is the one we want to go for anyway. It's one that if we surround it with crafted items, we get big damage on whatever we want. We like that. This will be more damage, 0.6 more stamina. With any consuming 2-1, I can't do that. Now, the Blacksmith's Anvil lowers the stamina usage on the hammer for the fight. Yeah. I right, clearly need more bags. Are there any games looking forward to in April? I have no idea. I have absolutely no idea, actually. I appreciate the thought, but no, I've not been paying attention to games news at all. I've been kind of overly focused on this one right here. Now, I'm sure there are other good games out there, but not sure, not sure. Okay, so if the anvil lives here, we then move these around to the side help it out. That's not so good. It's not touching the anvil. That one is, though. Oh, the hammer has to go like this. I apologize. It has to be in a particular place. Like that, actually. This can now go there. All crafted are touching now. Um, none of these items they have proc outside the hammers. Gems count as being crafted. We can get one more. This. That's good enough for now, I think. Okay. So we end up getting uh, one, two, three, four, five. So 10 more damage and 40% less stamina. So I think that will be a nice thing. Hope it's a nice thing. I can get the banana in if I change to this. Welp, that's okay for now. Uh, I do want the cheese, but can't fit it in without a bag. Awesome. 
stamina bag best friend. Didn't buy the cheese. At least gives us a stamina item as well as a banana slot. Okay. We'll go for the um, stamina fairly soon. Once I have some more bags. More yellow, more good. Okay, that will upgrade to our stamina gaming item. Neat. Are we going to do enough damage? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. All right, we're doing 20 damage a hit now at low roll, I believe. It's uh, 18 to 22. That's mid roll. How about stamina? Uh, there's a stun. There's a stun. Right? We're doing respectable damage now, except against armor. Against armor, we have had some real problems, but that will work. What a second hammer. Uh, we now have fire also. So we want to use the fire to get um, a sun armor to go along with dragon scale armor. Now, more dragon scale would be okay. It gets more armor at battle rage time. But I don't have the space for it. So we're going to roll it away. Hey, more speed. Okay. Speed for banana. I think I prefer banana speed over hammer speed. More boots, more good. Fire goes here. Oh. What's the person doing other than not using their uh, speed bags at all? As I mentioned previous, this is definitely a case where we could have some serious problems because that uh, Drake's continue attacking us, but it worked out okay. Thank you, stuns. Okay. Can I rotate this? I can. I move this over one. This over one. We have another item for the anvil. This is probably better. Good. There's no place for this hammer to go. Lots of items being saved up, not being used, right? These can combine at least. I'd like to find what? A bag? <laughs> oh, all right, team. You get to decide. Any preferences? Do you want to see the hammer? And the delightful little stuns. Or do you want to see the dumbest build ever with a gigantic sword? And hopefully we get through the uh, their armor. You want the sword? You want the sword? You want the sword? I give you the sword. Okay. So, blue gems are more important than anything else right now. Blue gems matter, matter, matter. Hammer comes through to improve the size of the... It improve the size of the blade into the so-called busted blade. Uh, we'd like to have our crafted item here. Yeah, the busted blade is absolutely silly fun if you can get through their armor. If you can do that, that really is the entire game. And it's so much fun. Can move. We can't move. Um, we do not need a banana right now. I will probably keep it though. So I'd like to combine the potion and the banana at some point soon for stamina dump if need be. Okay, I don't think we need the shield anymore. We have more fire for more speed. Oh, thank you. The gloves are not affecting the blade. They were allegedly affecting the hammer at one point, 
it's entirely possibly affecting nothing for a very, very long time. <laughs> but yes, thank you for catching that. <laughs> Who needs our claws on the blade? We're fine with a slow sword. What are you talking about? Uh, additional armor is cool. We'd also like to have uh, this item as well to speed up the blade even more if possible. Yeah, we'll figure it out eventually. For now, it can live here, though. We'll get upgraded next turn around. Cool. All right. Giant sword go. I should move these blues over to the uh, other side. This person has no armor, so let's see what happens. 52 damage on non-crit. It's 58 non-crit. 54. One more hit. One more hit. Oh, <laughs> that was pretty close. That was pretty close. All right, the sword embiggens itself. Behold the embiggened sword. All right, now it's ridiculous. So, I need to start moving all blue gems into the giant sword. So called busted blade. 50 to 60 DPS normally. Uh, if we can get some um, empowers, it gets real, real, real silly. Blue gems go go. That's right, they're allegedly busted. I don't know what the, the kids are talking about. It sounds like they don't understand how to play the game. <laughs> um, so we're exactly stamina neutral right now. So we don't uh, do the banana except for it's speeding up with the various speed bonuses here and there, especially in um, Battle Rage. So these gloves are going to move to here, actually. Actually. I need my gems in. Okay, I'll see in a second here. Hello. If we get enough stamina bags, there's a real possibility we can add another weapon. Let's go ahead and just throw in some fires. This does 30% health, 50% more health when they're below 30. I'd uh, be very pleased to have that. We have one open slot still, correct? Yeah, we do. I need one, only one spending. I'm gonna dump one red for now. Cap. More damage when they're low on health. We're hoping deathly for crits. Yeah. Hello with your inferior little axe there. How's your little axe doing, huh? How's that axe? Hmm, you have no stamina. What? No stamina? That's a mistake. I, I know we have open slots. I know we have open slots. It's intentional. The yellow's sitting here to help with stamina. Yeah, they're, they're entirely to help with stamina because it gives stamina regeneration bonus when it's sitting there. Like, faster attack is very cool, but I don't trust my stamina, really sincerely. I'd like to, but I don't. I thought we didn't go out of stamina this past time. We'll give it a shot and see what happens. Also, more blue, more good. It's not clear I need this bag right now. This will not upgrade, though I like it. Okay, I'll take the bag just because, and then ideally gloves will go there. For now, though, behold the banana. Behold stamina gain in emergency cases. Lots of poison. Lots of poison and invulnerability. Hopefully we can end this thing fairly quickly. If not, they're gonna be building up more and more, um, more and more of the blind. Cool, the end. All right, is it time for even more speed on the blade? Why do I even ask that question? Like, why would anyone ask that question, in fact? Of course we need more speed on the blade. We were almost out of stamina. Okay, thank you for catching that one. Um, I think our hero potion didn't fire, so we still a little bit more space so we have to really worry, but thank you for catching that. Okay. 
Hey! Close to upgrading there. Uh, more gems, more good. The potion does combine with the bananas. Um, it just gives you an even larger burst of stamina and empower. And while we really like empower because it increases busted blade a lot, I want to find one more banana, ideally. Or, I mean, this is the place I don't quite know how to think. Because on the one hand, it's definitely fantastic to have, um, like, the burst of, the burst of empower. Because then we get a lot more damage then. I think it's two empower when upgraded. But it's only a one-time thing. And if you run out of stamina then, there's no way back out again. So I'm not quite sure how to think about that movement. Uh, this is an upgrade. Power goes in. Let's see how it goes. Oh, it's a craft push for the anvil. You're an absolute genius, Nalfin. Absolutely right, I should have done that then. There's more damage up front. We did not manage to avoid the armor. That said. That said. Alright, so stamina ran out. We didn't have the dump yet. But I, th I think, I think, I think I should go ahead and, and uh, combine the banana in. It was pretty close. <laughs> it was pretty close. Uh, plus 13, taking us to not even 50. Gotta keep going. Hello. Good to see you, Stamina. Move this to here. Banana can connect in. We will run out of stamina this time, definitely. Okay, I don't have any combining gems here. Rogue Potion is higher level, so I'm going to add you. <sighs> Guaranteed chance to add poison. Not nearly, not nearly as expensive as, um, sorry, as useful as the perfect blue. But more gloves. More gloves. Oh, good call. Good call. You have the dagger and flames going for another crafted item. You're absolutely right about that. And then flip this this way. I oh, could buy more potions. You're absolutely right about that. Um, sure. Sure. One, two, three. But where does it go? The ongoing issue of my life. Right, this can flip this way. Flame out, flame out. It goes here. Yeah. Uh, single resurrection. I'm going to take big damage when the first resurrection happens. We're battle raging. First resurrection. Just keep swinging. 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 Oh! <laughs> We missed! We missed! No! <laughs> uh, we missed! The worst! Do you want gloves at top next to hammer? Oh, good call. You're absolutely right. I do want that. Thank you for catching that. Should have done that before. Oh, live by the blade, die by the blade, unfortunately. That's definitely how this thing goes. Oh, heartbreak, heartbreak, heartbreak. That said, uh, these we have one more crafter there. We have no other crafters to move in without slowing down the blade. So I can go for another banana and just accept that we're going to be dumping our stamina potions early. I think that is fine. Gem box is not crafted. No, you just buy it free or at the beginning. From the store, as is. Okay, we're not using this currently. So... You up one. Banana goes there. More potions, more good. Um... Oh, good call. The ruby in the shop would count as crafted. 
Or is put on our, our sword and never look back. Sure, why not? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> Alright, got some fire for speediness now. I'm not even going to bother combining these gems right now. Actually, if we have space for it, maybe we'll combine them. Alright. What is this? This is lifesteal, build-up, poison. Hopefully avoid armor. We skipped armor there. Twice. Thrice. Two attacks. 150, 152. Three more rounds of survival. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Okay, awkward moments. Um, I'd like the potion belts in order to have these potions be able to fire and give me some buffs. But placement for the um, placement of the anvil is more important. I'd like to move this armor down to here. I believe I can do. Then have two open spots. If I move this to here, it's another crafted item. We have one open slot. This counts as that. Actually, two open spots, I'm sorry. There's probably not an easy way to have the gloves here and also have it kind of crafted. But back to here for now. We then move any combined gem. If I steal this one, opponent's healing stays high. That would then work. Okay. If I move everything, <laughs> we can probably get these on a potion belt instead of what they're on right now. So gloves and shadow hand handle would work, except that what we want here is separate items. Because each of those are a full... Um, two, two damage and 4% stamina loss on the blade. So I prefer that for right now. We're just missing one spot right there. Now there is a piece here I could use. Then, but then, but then. So this would fit here. It doesn't fit there. We can move the stamina bag, though, to here. Wait, why did I do that? Oh dear, what am I thinking about? So I, I would like the potion belt in one of these two spots. Good. And then crafted item goes there. Did not need the complete rebuild, just a partial rebuild. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Okay. Uh, so I can now put one item here to give us another, like, the final bit of the bonus we need. Um, I'm going to steal this lifesteal gem and put in another more damage, one below 30% health. So now the anvil is fully loaded. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, I'd like to find a dagger. I'd like a lot of things. <laughs> um, if I trade this out, better chance of attacking health directly. I mean, I, I don't know if we need to have 150% more damage. Hey, Aeon! Aeon, thank you for the number one follow-up video. Uh, number two, thank you very much for the generous uh, gift subscription. Welcome to the channel. Thank you for your kindness. I appreciate that. That's very, very nice of you. Very, very nice of you. Hope you're having a good day, my friend. Hope you're enjoying it. this a little noob trying to figure stuff out. A little noob that could. Stuff like that. Uh, it's not exactly how I want this to go. And anyway, enjoy your uh, emotes and ability to watch the Crawler puzzle. 
Thanks for some generosity from the crowd today. Alright, helpless stamina. We'll see how this goes. Oh, we have an open slot. There we go. Nothing to upgrade. Just don't miss, please. Yeah. Okay. A cursed Excalibur, so constant food production. That said, they only have 300 armor, or 300 uh, health, rather. So if we can just get through their health, or skip their armor, we'll be okay here. It's a close one. Uh, we've gone Battle Rage first. If Lonar Stamina holds up, we're fine. We're leaving Battle Rage now. We're both naked right now. He's gonna win. Yeah, get an Excalibur. So strong. So strong. So every time I attack, if you have mana, you're able to hit all the food. That's okay. That's okay. Never lucky on avoiding armor. Okay. Include this here. This there. These combine. For even faster attacking. We only have two tries left. It might be sensible to remove the Box of Riches soon. You're beautiful, even faster attacking. <laughs> hey, it's a dagger. Hey, it's a dagger. Hey, it's a dagger. Okay. So, Fire Dagger is crafted. Um, it'll consume some heat for more damage. That's okay. No, I didn't roll. Whoops. <laughs> uh, possibly combining there. Sure. We do vampire. Could do vampire instead of flame. It gives life steal instead, but it wants to stack other vampire items. So no. Little bit of armor more. Cool. 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 How about a second Busted Blade? <laughs> Two tries remain. Oh no, it's the crit build. Oh, sweet lord. Just survive a little bit. You're gonna be okay. Hey, we skipped armor. Just keep skipping armor, man. We're good. Just skip the armor we missed. Okay. Okay. Whew. Whew. Almost a disaster there. <laughs> Uh, so they didn't build up sufficient mana to fire any of their crowns, so they never got to invulnerability. If they had, it would have been a problem. Uh, I'm surprised they don't have any mana gems in this thing. So they're building mana based only on blueberries. We got very, very lucky there. <laughs> okay, even more attack speed. Let's go for even more uh, avoiding of armor. We can have our Battle Rage last a little longer. We can also have additional Emergency Stamina. I'm not sure we've used any of the Emergency Stamina. It's very cheap though, so okay. Uh, this combines... The customer cards would combine also, but that gives us um, only debuff resistance. We don't need that. Last round hype! We're gonna survive! Last round hype indeed! beams. Which means it's time to throw away our uh, our gem all the way. Which means the little whetstone that could, plus one damage. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. You prefer to have the molten dagger underneath the gloves. Wait, why is that? Gems count as crafted. Is that the concern? Yeah, I think the dagger's found wherever. For speed. For speed. Wait, where? Like here?
bottom. I don't see what you're talking about. Where the fire is. Oh, thank you. Good eye. Yep. Here for speed during the um, battle rage. That was the issue. Thank you, thank you, thank you. With me, Whetstone could now go here. And the little hammer that could go here. Okay, cool. Nice, nice. Um, do you want cheese? I mean, cheese is not bad. Cheese is not bad at all. We like cheese. We like cheese just fine. So Whetstone goes to here. Come on, cheese. I believe that's that. I'm going to assume we're roughly stamina neutral. Can't afford any of that. So, open slots? None. All right, fingers crossed, team. The final moment's upon us. Yeah. That's a lot of resurrection. A whole bunch of reduction of damage. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I laughed! Why did I laugh? So I got overly excited there because um, I thought I had immediately done so much damage. No, the, the lantern takes half of their life uh, w when the battle begins. So that was that was not as excited as I thought it was. Mistakes made. Um, yep, 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 yep. Uh, 10 by 5, so 50% chance of missing also. I think we may have missed. I got too excited. Well, a win is a win anyway. There's some more trophies. Plus 18 in the world of gold. At least we're over 50 now on that one. We got two cares at 50 gold. A cursed reaper at 75 silver. And the hunter ranger at only 21. There you go, team. And almost enough wins. We got one more win. We'll be able to... Uh, get another wardrobe item, but no, but no, but no. Anonymous Gifter, thank you for gifting a subscription to A-Call. A-Call, enjoy your emotes and such for one whole month. Friends, it's about 1.15 my time. I gotta go teach, unfortunately. I mean, I like teaching, it's fortunate in that sense, but with respect to backpack battling, it is unfortunate. So thanks for being here, I hope you enjoyed yourself today. Um, I, I kind of wish we'd focus on just one character, to get ourselves up to the uh, the platinum level. I believe in myself such that we can get the platinum level. Definitely believe in that, because we are winning fairly handily every time, getting that 10 victories. I've never knocked on 10 victories, um, so we're in good shape on that. We'll see. Wire speed, thanks for the resub also. Have fun teaching, thank you. Have fun sleeping or hanging out, whatever you're doing. All y'all, hope you have a very good day. Uh, thank you for the company, thank you for the kindness, and uh, back tomorrow. It'll be a good time. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you for being my friends. Have a wonderful time. Have a safe drive. What do you mean drive? I live in Tokyo. We don't drive. We walk across town. We're going to walk across town. Goodbye, friends.